Yes! 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 No! Again? Again. Again. The mourning period is over. 2013. That was 11 years ago. 2018. Well, that was six years ago. 2019. Well, that was half a decade ago. The scars might feel fresh. They might. All the more reason to slay the dragon. And it starts in the dragon's den. TD Garden. The Toronto Maple Leafs once again go head-to-head in a first-round series, best of seven, with the Boston Bruins. The Bruins owning home ice advantage and home ice through the first two games of the series. My name is Steve Dangle. You're here on the SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. We're going to be here all series long, all playoff long, but watch, uh, watch, what? yeah, definitely watch. Walk before you can run. All right? If this is your first time checking us out, Steve, do you have uh, the game feed? No, this isn't like when I was at Sportsnet uh, because we have not uh, at SDPN paid $5 billion plus for the rights to hockey in this country, but you'll be able to watch along. We'll have the clock and everything. And by the way, these watch alongs are presented by Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Bet local, 19 plus, please play responsibly. Stick around for all my in-game reactions, plus betting tips as the game progresses. And by betting tips as the game progresses, I mean producer Drew is just going to be like, here's what I would do, because Steve, you are an idiot. And he's right. Also, we have the chat. Hello, everybody in the chat. You can do super chat. You can become a member. We do three episodes of the Steve Dangle podcast for uh, per week. Except we don't. We actually do four. We have SDP VIP. And if you don't want the ads, you don't have to have them. SDP VIP ad free is another tier that you can get to. Uh, from Death Eater 91, a Slytherin. Oh, by the way, the reason I sound like crap is last night I was like, huh. Am I under the weather? I might be under the weather. And this morning, allergies and pollen just went Hadouken right in the face. I could barely open my eyes this morning. It was bad. But I'm here because this is the playoffs. You play hurt unless you're Bobby McMahon and William Nylander. That's very concerning, and we'll talk about that. Death Eater 91. Steve, do you remember signing my book saying you'd refund the cost of it if the Leafs won the cup? Uh, I actually do remember saying that to someone, and I guess you're that someone. I will gladly buy your book for you. Uh, You, one person. (laughs) If the Leafs win the cup. I won't even think about it. By the way, 40 members... Uh, joined uh, SDP VIP uh, while waiting for the stream. So thank you and welcome. There's 4,500 people here. (laughs) Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. 4,500 people here. How many likes we got? 400. That's poo. Get it higher. Shout out to Blue White Flame for gifting five SDPN memberships. Another thing you can do. Uh, Good evening, Steve. How's your day going? That's from Cassie. Uh, It's been improving ever since I woke up. Because when I woke up, I went, oh, no, I have to do a stream tonight. And I can't breathe through my node. It's a problem that I can't breathe through my node. Thank you to IfX. 
<laughs> Present day. Hi, Steve. Have they legalized assault yet, or is that going to be after the anthem? Actually, assault is uh, already legal in the uh, National Hockey League world um, because there was a game before this one between the New York Islanders and the Washington Capitals. Murdot says, this is the year of the leaf. I hope so. Uh, Renimpmon Ren, 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 says, Steve, breathe. <sighs> I can't breathe through my nose, so that's the best you're going to get. Felix Lindqvist, greetings from Sweden. Go Leafs. Actually, Canucks. You should. You're, you, what? Tucks them, you kid. Jonathan Peck, hello. Declan Hannigan, hello. Nova Khan, this is the year. Talents here. Leafs are blue. 400 is poo. It's Toronto versus Boston. So you do you. That was Shakespearean. Del Tago, if the Leafs had to lose, you'd rather them lose in a sweep or game seven overtime. Okay, so we found Lucifer Morningstar's uh, burner. This is my job? So, like, as a fan, no, they're both terrible. What? Seven. The answer as a fan and as a as a professional should be seven. Like, one of the only chirps that the Leafs haven't really gotten in recent memory is, oh, get, get the brooms out. Get the brooms out. It's like the only one. And then you would just add that to the list. Oh, you lost to your Zamboni driver. Game seven, choke. And then add the sweep in there. That'd just be sad. That'd just be sad. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. If this is your first time on the SDPN YouTube channel, welcome. Holy smokes, do we have content for you. So much of it, we really do. We did a series preview for all eight first round series, and I did my bracket all the way through the playoffs. Declan Hannigan, Steve, thanks for sharing the stream in the U.S. Say hi to my friend Julia for me, please. Hi, Julia. Hello. Bruins fan here. Whoop. Oh, my goodness. The comments are coming quicker than I can read them. Bruins fan here. Started watching uh, due to the 2019 Game 7 video. Uh, would love for this to come full circle. Me too. For the love of goodness. Grace Faith. Hey, Steve. Tuning in from Tampa. Go Bolts. I'll, I'll see you in round two. For the rubber match. Lemonhead 86. First playoffs alcohol free. Let's go, boys. One day and one game at a time. Good for you. Uh, present day. Reverse of Lucifer's Would You Rather. Super boring 4 nothing Leaf sweep or super dramatic Game 7 Leafs win. Uh, let's go Game 7. Because screw it. They win either way. What, what, do you, what do you go to the... You go to Wonderland to ride the teacups? Let me go on something big and scary. We got a poll in the in the chat. Are you in? I click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Game one is about to begin. We are in anthems in Boston for game one. Leafs Bruins. Are you? in Cassie are we going to get any Adam streams this playoffs yes um we're gonna let the stream situation be a little fluid but uh the right now the plan is for him to do uh the Canuck series in the first round and then obviously we'll recalibrate second round based on who wins Brad Marchand always stoic and still 
during the playoff anthems. Land and playoffs started. Guess no one told Canes and Isles sleeping emoji. Was it that bad? Paul Douglas with Nylander out. How confident you? Uh, how confident are you in the third line? Also, is Sammy ready? You know what? I'm more confident in the Leafs' depth uh, than I have been in like most years past. Uh, even with Nylander out, um, like Nick Robertson gets in the lineup. Who's not comfortable with that guy playing right now? You know what I mean? Holmberg, I'm comfortable. McMahon out is a bigger loss than you realize. I think his game is a little more mature than Nye's right now. I think long-term, Nye's probably becomes better. But Nathaniel, uh, as a Canes fan, I've adopted the Leafs as my second team thanks to your videos. Uh, glad I can stream you watching the game here in the States. Love you, bud. King James, Bolts fan back again. Love STPN. Look forward to Bolts versus Leafs in round two. Absolutely. Absolutely, positively. Nathan, Oilers fan. Uh, Leafs versus Oilers Cup final would go crazy. I don't think the country would, would survive it. I really don't. Uh, Noise, Flyers fan here cheering on my second team, the Leafs. A lot of second team Leafers. Interesting. I feel like the Leafs would be a great second team. You're like, oh, well. Drew said, wiggle your mic. Apparently it's fine. Game one, set to begin. Samsonov versus Swayman. Toronto versus Boston. SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends it's about to go down. Robert Bett has his SDPN mug and hoodie and a bag of cheddar and bacon chips. That means no one can bet against the Leafs. They are not going to lose. That's what that means. Seventh anniversary to the uh, Pred sweep in the Hawks, according to name tag. And the puck is, oh, we already got some shenanigans off the opening. Max Domi's going to get a penalty before the series even begins. He's going at it with Marshan. He's already got a ref's hand on his shoulder. The game has not begun. There it is. Opening face off. Matthews wins it. Brian Fraser, we got Matthew, Super Austin Matthews, Julian McKenzie, Gift and Five memberships. Let's go. Domi just broke his stick on Marshan's back. He's got to go get a new stick. Well, I guess we know what his assignment is. <laughs> wow, Jake DeBrus goes down. And we already got an icing from the Bruins. Nice little early mistake, and the Leafs will get a change in. <laughs> Chris says, Avs are winning. Everyone knows that. Okay, this is how you know the playoffs began. How did Domi not get a penalty there? <laughs> John Tavares wins the faceoff to Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner circling around. Whoa, that pass made its way through to Swayman, but he stopped it. Wasn't going very fast. It also wasn't meant to be a shot. Michael Six Questions says, uh, Avs fan here, Leafs are my second team. Love watching your channel. I love that you love watching my channel. Leafs in the Bruins zone. Matthew Nyes with a shot in front. Swayman with the stop. Another bit of a weak one. Nye is getting the opportunity up with Marner and Tavares. Marner almost finds Tavares in the slot. That would have been something. Wow, it is going to be really hard to get to all your uh, comments tonight. I cannot believe how many people are in this right now. Here come the Bruins on their first attack. Pasternak puts it wide. Holmberg. Leaves the leave zone. He's waiting for reinforcements to arrive. There goes Nick Robertson to the net. Whoa! Yarn Croak gets hit. Robertson with it. Shot from the point. Goes wide. Holmberg tries to find Yarn Croak in front. McCabe on. Stop by Swayman. Rebound! Nick Robertson stoned by Swayman. That was a very, very good save. And the first real good chance of the game. We are less than two minutes in. This is absurd. This is uh, Nick Robertson's first Stanley Cup playoff game in front of people, by the way. His first Stanley Cup playoff game was four years ago in the summer of 2020 
in the bubble against the Columbus Blue Jackets. And if I'm not mistaken, he hasn't played one since. Big hit from Ryan Reeves, who is now on the ice. Leafs trying to prevent a break. Good from Lilligren. Clears the zone as well. Reeves chips it to Dewar. Welcome to the STPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Leafs with a fourth line shift. Big hit from Reeves. This is a two-on-one for the Boston Bruins. Lilligren goes down and a goal from Boston on their first real chance of the game. And I was right. I called this on the podcast. Beecher, a dude I have literally never heard of. I can't believe it. I, honest to God, can't believe that just happened. The dude who I had never heard of, who I said is definitely going to get the first goal of the series for the Bruins, because I have never heard of him, just finished a two-on-one to score the Bruins' first goal of the playoffs. A nice feed from Bockwist over to Beecher. That's got to be his first Stanley Cup playoff goal. Uh, Thomas Whitlock, Canes fan here, excited to see if the Leafs can finally do it or if they'll find another soul-crushing way to lose. Uh, well, there's the start. That's a good start. That was, what, two minutes in? Good stuff. Maro Patrick Maroon got an assist? What year is it? The Leafs are now plus 210 underdogs if you're interested in that. A little sprinkle on that. I mean, if you were cheering him, cheering for him anyway. Omar, uh, so you have playoff McDavid and Dry, playoff McKinnon, and you guys choose Van and Nashville. I love this channel, but come on. A lot of it has to do with Canada. A lot of it has to do with market size. A lot of it has to do with, have you looked at the times of the Edmonton series? The times of that series suck. If we were out West, maybe we'd agree. Uh, we're doing our best. Julian McKenzie with another five gifts, which I, I don't know. Are you doing that for every Bruins goal? <sighs> the Bruins scored the first goal against the Leafs in all four games this season. This would be five straight now. And here come the Bruins again. Charlie Coyle circles back. Leafs top line is out there. Coyle puts it on, blocked by Jake McCabe. We're a little over three minutes into this game. The Leafs already looking to even it up. Max Domi hands it off to Benoit. Leafs getting new guys over the boards. Joel Edmondson out there. Lilligren up the ice. Bruins cut the pass off in the neutral zone. Pasta dumps it in to Lilligren's corner. Marner threw his legs to Tavares. Doing his best to battle without losing the puck. He does it. Gathers it with his feet. Edmondson on the pinch. I hope they're covering for him. Uh, sort of. And the Leafs will get it deep in Boston zone. SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. I cannot believe I called the first goal of this series. And it was Beecher. I don't know his first name. I don't know his first name. I don't know this person. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Trent Frederick and Ilya Labushkin. Holmberg going at it in front. Got our first scrum of the series. Well, we almost got our first scrum uh, before the game began. Already the Leafs are down one nothing. Here we are on the SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. The Leafs are plus 210 now uh, on account of they got scored on. Alan Fraze, you called it on the podcast. You said Beecher was scoring because you'd never heard of him. Ugh! I'm not happy about it. John, John Beecher. That is such a Bruin name. Such a Bruin name. Patrick Maroon, I think exchanging pleasantries with uh, Connor Dewar, I feel like they might have been teammates in Minnesota. They must have been. All right, Simone Benoit with it in the Leafs' corner. 
Leafs try to get it out. Can't. Now they do. Jake McCabe skating with it. Bruins really clogging that neutral zone up. Where do you go? Puck behind the Leafs net. Benoit battling for it. Leafs already changing up the lines a little bit. Or maybe that was just temporary. David Kampf. Connor Dewar cuts off the pass. That could have been dangerous. Flips it. Not to his intended target, but at least he gets it out over the blue line. Justin Fisher gifts 10 memberships, you beauty. Natalie gifted 10 memberships, you beauty. Bruins, get it deep. Benoit. Uh, might have just taken the first penalty of this series. Sure did. I don't know if that'll be a hook or a trip, but he's going off. Novacon says it's Brittany Beecher. I get it. I got it. That's a, I get it. <sighs> Let's get a look at this. Oh, boy. A little light on his feet there, Coyle, don't you think? Oh, did he hit him in the face? No, he got called for the hook. Yeah. Well, the Bruins have scored on half their shots so far, and now their lethal power play gets to go to work. Pretty bad. But that's all right. Julia McKenzie again with the five gifts. Someone steal your credit card, bud. Thank you. Bruins working it around. They already put it on. It goes wide. Pasta thought about shooting there. Didn't. Whoa, thought about shooting there. Didn't. Paola with the five gifts. Thank you. Stopped by Samsonov with 1422 to go in the first. Oh, why are you showing this graphic? No! Sportsnet showing power play droughts of 40 games for Marshan and 17 for Pasternak. I'll never forgive you if what is about to happen happens. I'll never forgive you. Blocked. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm really... Oh, my God. Marner, enough of the cute between the legs stuff on the penalty kill, dude. I'm going to shorten my life here. A George Chem Gamer, just a bear emoji and a broom. And also a shamrock. You know what movie sucks? The Town. No, I'm kidding. I've, I've never actually seen it. I just want to say things to annoy Boston people. I I've heard it's I've heard nothing but good things. Jake DeBrusk gains the zone. Yarn croak. Ooh. No trip. Bruins fans want a trip. He got his leg out there. The Leafs clear it. 45 seconds to go in this penalty kill. This would obviously uh be a huge kill for the Leafs who don't want to go down 2 nothing uh at all, much less this early. McAvoy Marshand shoots blocked McAvoy geeky oh boy Marshand one timer for Coyle that was an excellent opportunity to flex wide I don't know if Sammy got a piece of it but the Bruins only have 15 seconds left to work they screw up the entry they'll try it again Ah, they might just yeah it looks like they're doing a change New uh, poll in the chat. The Town. Bad film or really bad film? I just put bad. I didn't say really bad. All right. The Leafs kill the penalty. And here they come. Benoit goes off on account of there's three defensemen out there. Moose, thank you for the gift of memberships. Cassie asks, who gets the first Leaf goal of the playoffs? I hoped it was Lilligren because he just got a shot there. You know what? Let's go Austin Matthews. Get active. Nice and early in this series. He's on the ice right now, but here come the Bruins. Brandon Carlo shot directed wide by Samsonov. I know he allowed the first or second shot that he faced. It was a pretty good one on a two-on-one. I mean, listen, you got to rely on your goalie for some saves, but please minimize the chances. Bruins stop it at their own blue line. Pasta. Taking a slow, ooh, nasty move on Benoit, but he was going one on three, so it didn't work. Jake McCabe. 
surveying the scene. He's had the puck a lot so far. Jeremy Swayman opts to cover the puck, and the Leafs will get a faceoff in the Bruins zone. Yanni gift a nasty PN membership. Let's go, buddy. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. 11.28 to go in the first period. Do we got the clock on the screen? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. John Tavares in the face-off dot. Hey, ref didn't like that. He didn't like that. Zaka getting kicked out of the face-off dot. Tavares, clean win, but Marshan reads it. Oh, Marner, great little battle to steal the puck. Tavares puts it up and out. Peak wants a piece of knives. Won't get it. Jonathan Peck, I don't know what your expectation for Caps vs. Rangers series is, but I expect some brawls. I do too. Uh, honestly, I think it'll be a uh, five-game Rangers victory. And uh, Mark Antoine, Marcou, I want the Leafs to win and Steve to be happy and Marchand sad. I couldn't agree more. Listen, these streams, these watch-alongs are presented by Sports Interaction. Sports Interaction is your home for all playoff in-game betting sitting on best in, uh, best in-class platform, making it incredibly easy to place a bet. Nothing feels incredibly easy for me today uh, because Pollen has uppercutted me in the nose and mouth and tongue, including same game parlays, custom props, and odds boosts, focusing on the games that matter to you, plus a 24 7 casino with live dealers, including thousands of games to choose from. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. That's sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN or scan the QR code to open an account. Uh, sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book, bet local 19 plus only. Please play responsibly. Oh, sorry. Uh, sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. I'm used to saying uh, SDPN. Sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. That is what it is. Don't do the other one. <laughs> sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Alan Phrase, are you related to Byron? I understand needing a delay, but is it possible to lessen the delay uh, from view to stream play by play or no? Uh you're going to want to get some tips in the chat for that one. I'm just going to do my best to tell you where we're at in the stream. And also it'll have the clock uh, on this, the screen, which should help you sync it up pretty good. Uh, puppy girl <laughs> been enjoying being a member. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Puppy girl, Paul Douglas, 10 second shot uh, show and tell. All right. I can't do that right now because they're about to start. The game. I'll do that at intermission. MKI. I want to see uh, the Caps upset the Rangers for chaos. That would be chaos. Puck is dropped. Eleven twenty to go in the first period. Leafs already down one nothing to the Bruins. Shot six four in favor of Toronto. It was a really good two on one there between Boquist and, of course, Beecher. Max Domi almost killed a guy just now. Austin Matthews gets the puck, almost set up a two-on-one for Bertuzzi and Domi. Domi takes down his man. No call. Oh, he found Matthews. Matthews was blocked. Good chance. Matt Wilkins, need to work on your mighty might roar. If they get many more chances like that, I absolutely will. 10.40 to go in the first period. Really not a ton between these teams so far. Bruins throw it in front, deflected wide. Nick Robertson, eh, picked off. That's not going to help you stay in the lineup, kid. Labushkin trying to minimize the damage, but he's paying for it with his body. Robertson, yeah, they get it over the line. Labushkin in the corner. Being pressured by Geeky. Geeky was a really good offseason signing for them. Trent Frederick. The hands on Holmberg. Holmberg is really showing a snarl to his game lately that I did not know he had in him. I thought he was such a vanilla player. 
I really like him now. Good job from Labushkin cutting that pass off because there was no one there. Holmberg takes down his man. Labushkin doing his best to get the thing out. And Holmberg, nope, picked off. Beecher to the blue line, stays on side, blocked by Robertson. This line has been out there for an eternity, and Robertson turns it over. Riley, oh, just drilled. His head smashed off the glass. I hope he's okay. 9.15 to go in the first period. Play continues. I like the way Jakob's thinking. Perhaps not destined to win the cup until Leo and Isla, those are my kids, have a clear memory of it. Love from Poland. You know what? What if they won now and then? <laughs> what if they won now and later? They're allowed to do both. Bruins. There's a lot of board battles here early on. Leafs get it out. Matthew Nyes plays the body, forgets about the puck. Doesn't cost the Leafs the puck, though. Here comes Mitch Marner, who does a pirouette around his man. Tavares going in to get it. What a horse! But he's outnumbered by the Bruins defensively. Marner collects it. Ah! Flubbed at the blue line by Dewar. King James was at game 82, really wanted to see Cooch and Matthews hit their milestones. Well, you got one of two. I guess it depends who you cheer for. At least with a fourth line shift out there, Lilligren gets it deep. And Lilligren got knocked into the Bruins bench. TD Garden like that, but Lilligren advances the puck up ice, gets it to Matthews, to Reeves! Shot! That would have been ridiculous. Matthews just tripped Swayman. Play continues. The Leafs scored a goal with Matthews and Reeves on the ice at the same time the other night. <laughs> Matthews behind the net goes for the wraparound. Stop by Swayman. And Andrew Peake going at Matthews. He's looking for someone to go after. He was going at uh, Nice a little earlier. Zachary Phillips is a Devils fan here since 2016. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Yeah, Patrick Maroon completely. Uh, dumped Lilligren into the bench. That little rat, Lauko. Who sometimes uh, deletes his Twitter likes. If you know, you know. Uh, shoving Lilligren. You could frame that as helping him get out of the bench. Uh, here's a rule. Here's, I think, a really easy rule. Don't friggin' touch players if you're on the bench, ever. In any, unless you're, like, saving their life. <laughs> Don't touch them. Pretty easy. Welcome to the STPN YouTube channel. Already getting chippy in here. Leafs, Bruins, game one. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Edwin Bear, please keep saying... Uh, the clock as often as you can helps me sync the stream. All right, commercial break. There you go. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're showing a commercial for Inside Out 2. And my insides are out. What's that, Drew? Do I think my heart rate's over 100? We're not bringing back the heart rate monitor. I refuse. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely over 100. Definitely. Definitely. Jeremy Kosky, Leafs fans crying because the Bruins play physical. Kate. You're not allowed to play physical from the bench! Valedictorian was you. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. We're going to get a puck drop right here in the Bruins zone. Matthews loses the draw. 7.35 to go in the first period. Jay Plan gifting a membership, you beauty. Samsonov, whoop, played the puck into a giveaway. Whoa, Matthews and Coyle, big collision there. Two big fellas. Simone Benoit plays the puck behind the net. Jake McCabe lets it go to no one. The Bruins attack, shoot, 
Sammy with the save, but the Bruins will get an offensive zone draw out of it. MV3 paid five bucks to say 1967. Thank you. Five bucks would have been worth a lot more back then. Now you can just use it to chirp people. And I encourage it, honestly. Uh, I love Misty. Let's go stars. Remember the Leafs got blown out in game one last year. I, yeah, hundred uh, percent. Cassie. No, I'm not bringing back the heart rate monitor. I talked about it on the podcast. It's a little too busy right now with seven Oh five to go in the first period. Uh, I'll talk about it. Bruins again, tons of board battles early. Edmondson, Tavares, Lilligren, all involved. Marner taken down. Lilligren. Wow. Oh, they called that offside. No way. I thought the Bruins had an amazing keep there. Leafs dump it. And that'll be icing. Heart rate check. High. It's high. Uh, JJP 0411. I'd uh, like to say a big thank you to you. Uh, to you got majorly uh, into hockey with the HBK line in 2016 with the pens. Uh, I use your LFRs and your podcast to learn. That's incredible. Thank you. That's a hell of a stat from Sportsnet with 637 to go in the first period. The Bruins have lost in game seven in their last two playoff runs. I knew they did last year. I didn't even know that. Wow. Holmberg wins the draw back to Riley. Boosh bomb to dump it. MV33, still love you, Steve. I still love you too. And Alex with the 10 gifted membership, you butte. Robertson and Yarncroke digging in there. Yarncroke gets it out to the point. Can only chip it into the corner. Boy, Swayman looks sharp early. Robert Bett, has any team gone 16 and 0 in history? I don't think so. The Kings were close to having like one loss or something stupid like that. Uh, 20, was it 12 or 14? And then they lost a couple games in the final. I think that was 2012. Here comes Shattenkirk attacking for the Bruins as they change. Marshan going at it with Jake McCabe. You think those two like each other? No. Leafs dump it. Is that ice? That's ice. King James, these Atlantic teams are going to beat the hell out of each other in both series. You ain't wrong. Would you rather be a player in the Panthers Lightning series or a player in the Leafs Bruins series? That's, oh boy. I don't know about that. It's going to be pretty ugly. Austin Matthews, defensive zone draw. With 5.38 to go in the first period. Puck is dropped. The Bruins win it clean back to McAvoy. McAvoy gearing up for a shot. Takes it. Hit the post. And out of play. <clears throat> Click, like, click, subscribe, and tell all your friends. Hit the crossbar as we head into a TV timeout. Dude week <laughs> i'm steve dangle this is the sdpn youtube channel click like click subscribe tell all your friends as we do a watch along here for the first round series between the toronto maple leafs and the boston bruins my uh colleague adam wild is going to be streaming the canucks predators series when's game one for that tomorrow i believe it's tomorrow i'm focused on my series. Spence Callis, uh, you did Caps fans dirty this year. Beat Boston. I'll, I'll try. Feels like the Leafs. Did the Leafs lose to Washington this year? Tomorrow, the first stream uh, for Adam Wild. And his watch-alongs with the Vancouver Canucks and Nashville Predators will be at 10 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Pacific. I almost said specific. Almost. 
Speedy V, Utah Dangles, uh, good name thoughts. Dude, I like the Utah Yetis. I think it's really good. I don't mind the Venom either. Owen, oh, score prediction for this game? Four, three Leafs. <coughs> I'm going to say it till I believe it. Sportsnet uh, saying the Leafs have lost their last six series against the Bruins dating back to 1959. I wish you hadn't. Leafs said, uh, CJ said the Leafs are two and six in game one in the Matthews Marner era. Sick. Matthews with a D zone draw with two, uh, 532 to go in the first period, and he wins it. And here they go on the attack. Benoit chips it in. Oh, Swayman went out to. Whoa! Bertuzzi with a big hit. Oh, he staggered his man. Benoit going at it with Marchand. Jake McCabe tries to protect the puck, does not. Matthews comes in to help him. Bertuzzi can't get it out. Marshand shoots, stopped by Samsonov. Man, the Leafs got to get some good opportunities here. Felt like they had a flurry early. The Bruins score on a two-on-one, and then the Bruins have just pretty much been putting the puck into Sammy's chest. They, they really got to take advantage here. They're not challenging. Uh, IK noise. All Atlantic teams players are going to need ice packs by the end of the round. Here comes chaos. Totally agree. David Kampf with the D zone draw. Leafs lose it. Uh, Yarn croak can't clear the zone. Producer Drew telling me, um, uh, the Leafs have already thrown 23 hits in this game. Yarn croak getting the D zone start with the fourth line over Reeves, which actually makes a lot of sense. Look for Sheldon Keefe to do more stuff like that throughout the game. Connor Dewar clearly just iced Jeremy Swayman, and I wonder if he's about to pick up an unsportsmanlike penalty. Andrew Peake goes at him. Andrew Peake's been looking for an excuse to fight since this game began. Yeah, you might be going to the box for that. It's pretty naked what he was trying to do. He snowed the goalie for sure. King of the North. Steve, can we get a classic? Brad! For the vibes? Yes. Yeah, Dewar did that on purpose. I wonder if him and Peak are going to get coincidentals or something. Producer Drew said, it's the playoffs. Are you stupid? Dude, they're heading to the box. Wh oh, they're heading to the... Nothing? Cool. I mean, it mostly got Swayman on the chest. He's laughing it off. 4.36 to go in the first period. Ozone draw. Matthews wins it back to Riley. And now we got a penalty? A high stick. And I guess it's going to go against Bertuzzi since the Leafs had the puck when the whistle was blown. What happened there? I don't even think that was on camera. I was looking at the puck at the point. Is Bertuzzi the only guy going? That's a terrible penalty if it is. Oh, geez. He shanks Lindholm right in the face. He didn't mean to. He was just being totally irresponsible with a stick. But it might cost his team a 2-0 deficit here late in the first period. That's terrible. It, yes, Drew, he is the king of penalties in the O zone. I called it out recently on the podcast this past week. And there he is doing it in game one of the playoffs. It's not okay. 432 to go in the first period. Leafs win the D-zone draw. Joel Edmondson, ooh, not able to get it out. Good keep. I think that was Heinen. Shot blocked, and it goes into the stands. Maroon and Jake McCabe exchanging pleasantries. Maroon on the Bruins' power play with David Pasternak. Unreal. 
the Bruins win the power play draw there. Leafs hadn't killed very much of the penalty up to that point, only a few seconds. Pasta. Woo! Leafs can't clear it. Pasta! Wide. Oh, God, this penalty can't go soon enough. Marner with it now, skating it out to waste as much time as he can. Puts it in on Swayman, and it's basically a pass to himself. Marner, one on three against the Bruins. Nice play. 120 to go in this power play still. Pasta, over. Can't find DeBrusque. DeBrusque to the point. DeBrusque with it again. Leafs get in his stick. Shattenkirk to DeBrusque. DeBrusque over to Heinen. Stopped by Samsonov. He spun around. Bruins with it at the point. One-timer off the crossbar. The Bruins' second crossbar of the period. Heinen over to Pasta. On. Blocked or stopped. Holy smokes. Still 45 seconds to go in this penalty kill. And the Bruins flubbed the zone. What a gift for the Leafs who desperately need a change. Bruins, a flubbed ozone entry. And the Leafs will dump it. 30 seconds to go in this power play. Three minutes to go in the first period. <sighs> Charlie Coyle, 20 seconds to go on the power play. He rings it around. Jake McCabe takes it off of Brad Marchand. Yarn Croak dumps it perfectly into uh, the corner area where Swayman could not play it. Charlie McAvoy has to come all the way down to get it. Five, four, three, two, one. The power play is over 2.30 to go in the first period. Riley just tripped his man. Avoided the penalty. Matthews picked off. Leafs dump it. And that'll be ice, but it's the Leafs top line out there and they just got there, so. Not a huge deal. Is that three post for the Bruins? Sports and broadcast saying I missed one. Shot attempts 20 to 13 in favor of the Boston Bruins. Posts do not count as a shot, though. So the shots are 8 8. Matthews loses the D zone draw. Carlo. Oh, good screen in front. Oh, Samson over the huge save. How is the puck not in? Digging at it. The whistle goes. I can't believe the Leafs weren't scored on there. Cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. 2-0-1 to go in the first period. The Leafs are surviving, not thriving. Sammy with the save on Frederick, who didn't get all of it, but the real save came on the rebound. We need a good angle of that one. We got the camera on the other side. We got to go over to Sammy's left. Go over to Sammy's left. Oh, how doesn't that go in? Everyone is down. Oh, 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 oh baby, 2-0-1 to go in the first period. The Leafs uh, could easily be down 4-1. Right now, or sorry, four nothing, but it's only one nothing in favor of the Boston Bruins. We got a discussion between the officials and the benches. Not sure what happened there. D zone draw for the Leafs. Bruins win it. Pasta fans on it. Nice battling with him. McCabe doesn't know it's in his feet. Tavares picks it up and carries it out. Chips it in. Parts the ruin uh, the Bruins like the Red Sea. Red Sea or Dead Sea? I wish I paid more attention in school. Here come the Bruins over the red line. McCabe. Uh, probably wise to not play the puck there. Tries to chip it around for Simone Benoit. Who gets a piece of Charlie Coyle. McCabe bats it down. Matthew Nyes. To Benoit as the Leafs will change with a buck 18 to go in the first period. Oh, David Kampf screws up the breakout. Here come the Bruins again. Kampf breaks it up. Ryan Reeves is out there. Interesting to end the first period this way. 
Dewar trying to draw a penalty there. It doesn't work. Reeves, big hit there on Peak, who has been a thorn in the Leafs' side so far tonight after basically every whistle. Lilligren on Geeky, takes the puck off him pretty clean. Edmonton had to adjust there. Weird bounce. Uh. Leafs clean zone entry. David Kampf. They might get another change in here before the end of the period. Ryan Reeves in pursuit. Whoa! Huge hit. No call. Shot from Labushkin. Almost deflected in there by Reeves. Riley puts it on. Blocked by the Bruins. Riley, good keep. Bertuzzi finds Matthews. Stopped by the glove of Swayman. That was a nifty pass. Really good bit of hockey there from the Leafs. That was uh, their best shift since probably the first two minutes. <laughs> oh, Matthews didn't get all of that. Jonathan Peck said, adrenaline in my soul, something, something, Steve Dangle. I see we're all coping very well. Paula says, Sammy, you mutant. Absolutely. Matthews with the ozone draw. Marner out there with him. Marner gets the puck off the faceoff. He floats it on. Rebound. Matthews. Domi, get your stick on the ice, bud. And he's getting into it after the whistle. So is Matthews. He's getting two on one. Tempers. Don't go too bad. Domi's going to the box. And the Bruins got, who's that, McAvoy going to the box? It's a good enough trade. What's McAvoy going off for? Did he do anything? <laughs> Getting punched in the head? All right. Welcome to the playoffs. Ten point seven seconds to go in the first period. We're gonna get some four on four, and that'll continue into the second period. Yeah, producer Drew was saying the Leafs take this trade ten out of ten times. I didn't want to say it because like Domi's been pretty good, but like it's Charlie McAvoy. That's their best defenseman, right? Like Matthews is out there. He's got the right shot of Lilligren behind him. Uh, the Bruins won that draw. I'm not sure what the Leafs were trying to do there, but it wasn't win it back. Matthews holds the zone. Shot. Rebound. Oh! No goal. But Hampus Lindholm just demolished Mitch Marner into Jeremy Swayman. Four on three? And that, I mean, it's interference on, on Lindholm all day, right? So we get an 18-minute intermission here. We'll see what the call is, but I'm pretty sure the Leafs are going to have a near two-minute four-on-three power play. Uh, yeah, it's a cross-check to the back. Not interference, I guess. But it's a cross-check that prevented a scoring chance. If you were down one nothing, a decent way to get it back is a four-on-three power play. Could do worse. Could do worse indeed. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Drew, to answer your question, before. No, after. We're going to do it after. <laughs> Listen, everybody, this is the SDPN YouTube channel. My name is Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends, and this watch along is brought to you by Sports Interaction, Canada Sportsbook. Hey, 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 you know what we do here at SDPN? We do sports podcasts. We have a lot of hockey podcasts. I have a hockey podcast. It's called the Steve Dangle Podcast. I'm Steve Dangle. I do it with my buddies and co CEOs, Adam Wild and Jesse Blake, and producer Drew who is on this stream with me, as is Justin Fisher, I think Robert Malloy. Producer Drew, we, we have a, uh, a clip uh, that you want to air for intermission so that I can go on a little potty break. What is that clip? Ooh, I like that. So, how long is that? Ten minutes. All right. So, 
This is the intermission. We will be right back. Don't go away. If you got to go get a snack, leave the window open, whatever you got to do. But I'm going to leave you with a clip. It's still me. You get to still see my pretty face with Adam Wilde and Jesse Blake on the Steve Dangle podcast. We are doing a preview of the LA Kings versus Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers. Take it away. Did LA get better? I don't think anybody thinks LA got better. They had to fire their coach. Pierre-Luc Dubois didn't show up the way they wanted him to. Are they honest, better? I honestly do. Um, they were really good, basically, post-All-Star break. They settled into their new coach, which they very did not do uh, right away. And they have an identity, which yep. is it's going to stink to play against us. It's going to be not fun. For reference, uh, Todd McClellan was 23-15-10. Jim Hiller, 12 uh, 21, 12, and 1. Ooh. Really good. Jim Hiller, former Leafs assistant coach. We saw him in Nashville at the draft. You don't remember this no. because some guy walks up to us. He's like, hey, listen to your show. And we're like, oh, hey, what's up? He's like, yeah, that's my dad. And he points behind him to Jim Hiller. And we oh, were like, cool. oh, so what? Jim cool. Hiller's kid could be listening to this right now. He could be. Wow. And, uh, you know what? I changed my pick. The Kings are, are going to win. <laughs> Kings in two. Kings in one. So, so what do you what do you like about the Kings? You were talking about how they got better. Well, I mean, this year to last year, you think so? I do. Um, they became a better playoff team. Okay. Uh, I think um, they're getting better goaltending at a Cam Talbot as well. Um, you need a uh, you you want good goaltending, you get a good coach. You want a good coach, you get good goaltending, and all that stuff. Uh, this is about to become a Jim Hiller show very fast. Um, they are built to not necessarily be the best team in, in these playoffs. I have a hard time envisioning them winning the Stanley Cup this year. You never know. But they've given themselves the best chance possible to beat the Oilers by playing the way they play, by making everyone's night miserable. Pierre-Luc Dubois to me is such an X factor here. Cause they essentially haven't had him all year. Yes. That's Bobby right. McMahon had more goals than him. Yep. I think, um, which is insane. He signed an eight and a half million dollar extension, but if he can just be an asshole, just be, don't even, you don't have to score. Mm -hmm. You don't got to set up plays. You just be an asshole. Like there's a reality here where you can salvage this season with him. He doesn't play like an eight and a half million dollar player. He hasn't played like an eight and a half million dollar player all year, but if he plays like an elite bottom sixer, add Kopitar and Dino to that, mm -hmm. that's going to be a problem. Okay. Okay. We haven't even mentioned Connor McDavid's name yet. Uh, no, we haven't because and, that seems like the obvious thing, right? Well, like, <laughs> you know, is this us galaxy braining everything into talking ourselves into the idea that yes. David could be shut down? Yes. Um, and the thing is, what, my my rebuttal to what you all, everything you just said is the Oilers have already figured this out. They've already played most of these guys. They've already done this. And I feel like we got to kind of maybe take that into consideration. You know, it's it's sort of an important point. It's, it's going to be a really interesting series if it's just close. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, the Oilers play these games that get far away from their opponent and far away from them. Um, they're great at erasing deficits and they're not very good at holding leads. If these games are consistently, you know, between one and two goals apart, I think the Kings give themselves a pretty good chance here. Jesse, what do you think? That's, I think like you nailed how the Oilers play hockey. Like they need to be front runners in this thing. They need yeah. to get out ahead. And like, I'm having a such a tough time picking against the Kings because I love their four group so much. Anze Kopitar, Philip Deneau, right down the middle. Like, and whether you get... Well, and Alex Lafreniere. The yes, better Lafreniere. That's Lafreniere. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. I know it's Lafreniere. Um, I love Kevin Fiala and the goal scoring he brings. Quinton Byfield has emerged as a legitimate star in this league. Adrian Kempe, one of the most underrated players in the league. Victor Arvidsson's there again. Like, they have such dynamic players in their four group. Like, I, I think they can go up against Edmonton, but... Dude, I, read, read that stupid fourth line. Byfield, Dubois, Turcotte. F get lost. That's crazy. Get lost. Now, I don't know if they're going to run that out as the fourth line come game one. Like, maybe we see uh, shuffling on the deck as opposed to what Daily Faceoff has. But, yeah. like, they're, they've are they everywhere in their four group, they have good players. I, I don't know how, the, how you weather the storm of the Oilers' top six. 
But King's bottom six is better. If there's anybody's going to shut down there. dry side on McDavid, it's going to be Philip Deneau. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, we already said that last year. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and they got they got close. Like, let's not act like both times weren't close series. Is Okay, now pretend we're talking about the Leafs instead of the Kings. Don't we sound like babies? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Um, like, yeah, it was close. They keep losing in game seven. Yeah, close. the, the goaltending thing, I thought goaltending would be such much more of a bigger issue, and it hasn't. Like, down the stretch, Cam Tal, it's been great. Like, mm -hmm. it's been fine. Why the hell did the Oilers start Stuart Skinner in the final game of the season? They, he, um, he pulled back on his mistake by pulling him after the first period. Yeah. And we, everybody realized, like, oh, you shouldn't start Stuart Skinner here, and, and Pickard went in right after the first period. Was, it was questionable. There's also nothing on the line for either team. Yeah, Knobloch needed to have a Knobloch on his head for hey, that. Uh -huh. hey, hey, hey. The, also, the interesting, uh, the, the emergence of Jordan Spence over Brant Clark, who everybody kind of mm -hmm. penciled in to be the guy that replaced Sean Dursey. You know, when you get a guy, I think Jordan Spence is what a fourth round pick, third round pick. Uh, yeah, fourth, ninety uh, fifth overall, fourth round, second pick in the fourth round Jeez. in twenty nineteen. What a great pickup he's been. It gives them a lot of depth. They draft so well. They do draft really, really well. So uh, we spent a lot of time on the Kings, and I feel like yeah, that's oh, at least well, the Oilers was so gonna, obvious. But like, okay, tell me about what's obvious. Then. They score a million goals, and they can't defend. Yeah, but, but their million goal scoring is so good that it doesn't matter that they can't defend. I think come playoff time, it, the amount you trust a player like Darnell Nurse to have a great moment uh, throughout the entire series and not have a bad moment and screw up a game is it come the playoff time, like you're a little shaky on whether or not he can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, he can, Evan Bouchard's got to dial it in too. Evan Bouchard, I think, is a Norse Trophy candidate and nothing. don't ever say anything bad about Evan Bouchard. He's perfect. <laughs> Terrible defender. He's perfect. He is a bad defender. Now, Evan Bouchard, like, he's going to score a bunch. He's going to put up a lot of apples, a couple of goals, and he's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I worry about the other pieces of their defense. I am curious to see the deployment of Darnell Nurse. Because this guy has been a, uh, a real topic of conversation. Obviously, the expectations, uh, I think injuries have held him up. Uh, but he's not the defenseman he once was, especially when he signed that extension. The money, as we've seen in Toronto does matter when you're talking about how to rate a player. And there are people saying, well, he's kind of like a second or a third pair guy. And that's not how he's been deployed. And so I'm wondering what kind of factor that's going to be for Knobloch in the series. It seems like a ridiculous thing to call out. But actually, he's supposed to be one of the core pieces of the defense. Just get it on the forward stick. Do whatever you got to do. Turn it around and go. Turn it around and Turn go. Turn it Turn it around and go. If, if you get hemmed in... They're boned. They're like, I, I so consistently watch their games and you're like, oh, this team's unbeatable. And then the other team just gets set and you're like, oh, they're actually friggin' awful. The other it's, one I want to. They're, they're a completely Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde team that could easily win the cup. I'm I'm shocked every time. If I don't know if they're going to do this game one, but every time it's Nurse Cece, I'm like, wow. Oh, boy. That's a decision. Yeah, Cece, it sure is uh, a call. Scored against the Sharks. How dare you? Um, the <laughs> they scored nine goals. I know. <laughs> Two years know. ago, Evander Kane had 17 points, 13 of them goals uh, in 15 games with the Oilers. And I believe he and Leon Dreisaitl, if I'm not mistaken, were like tied for goals lead going into the finals. And they didn't even make it past this, the third round, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Uh, last year, you know, five points in 12 games. Evander Kane, what, how important is it to get the best out of this guy in this series? I mean, this series could come down to which player who is paid to be a goal-scoring jerk uh, actually shows up. Is Dubois, it, Dubois or Kane. Or Kane. Um, like, Kane was a ridiculous factor, a ridiculous factor. And now he's on the third line getting screamed at by Corey Perry. I, I can't believe the downfall of, of this guy. You know, the, the, the problems uh, with him were always like off ice or in the locker room or, or whatever. Uh, I didn't really think this whole hockey playing thing was, a, was a big issue for him. So maybe he's hurt. Maybe he's saving it for the playoffs. If he finds another gear, I don't really see how the Kings can win. 
Chris Johnston did an article where he interviewed a bunch of anonymous executives around the league. Some okay. GM, some scouts, some some other guys who work in pro hockey. This is what they said about the the Edmonton Oilers defense and how to exploit it and how to neutralize McDavid. The easiest way to shut this was anonymous executive two. The easiest way to shut down the Oilers is preventing McDavid from, from picking up steam in the neutral zone. The way you prevent McDavid from p- picking up steam in, is to mess with the way they do their breakouts and defensive zone exits. That starts with their retrievals. Ekholm, good fucking player, but he can't make plays on his backhand, and Bouchard won't retrieve the puck in the corners. He definitely will not. We had a good meeting about that before we played Edmonton, we executed that strategy perfectly, and we just abused them. If I'm going up against the Oilers and I identify that vulnerability, that is what I'm going after. I think that who the, the hell is this executive? <laughs> yeah. That is a quote. <laughs> the Kings, Woo! man. The Kings. I gotta say, they have the talent to do it up front. For, it, that means four check, four check. Dude, forget this series. CJ's so good at his job. I know. He's, he's oh, yeah. so Pretty good at good. his job. Uh, That's all right, all right, a let's, crazy quote. Let's get to the uh let's get to the picks. What do we think? Oh boy. I think it's gonna be really fun. I think we deserve a seven game series. I think every Oilers series we deserve seven. We deserve to see as much of Connor McDavid as possible. Uh unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get that. Oilers in six. Jesse Blake. Uh, Good luck executing the strategy Oilers in six. I will say Oilers in six as well. Welcome back to me. Because I'm the one who's back. You've been here the whole time. Did you like it? Did you like the video? What is that? What is that on the camera? Is there something on the camera? I can't see you. Steve Dangle here on the SDPN YouTube channel. We are a podcast network. We have lots of shows, most of them about hockey, but not all. Check them out. We have been an absolute content factory this week getting set up for the playoffs. If you haven't clicked like yet, I'm upset. If you haven't clicked subscribe yet, I'm upset. And let me tell you about two things that we offer. Two things that we offer, and then I will reward you, okay? We do three episodes a week. We usually do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but what we're going to do during the playoffs is alternate on, uh, we're going to do uh, upload the show on days where the Leafs do not have a game. So it'll be Leafs game day, we do a show. Leafs game day, we do a show. And then just stay tuned to uh, listen to what the schedule is on days where they have uh, two days between games we do three a week but if you become a member of this youtube channel you'll be an sdp vip which means you'll get access to the fourth episode that we do every week it's usually about like pop culture and stuff sometimes it's a little bit about sports but it's just goofing around and being friends uh the first three or the other three episodes whatever you want to call them uh are just Hockey, hockey, hockey. A little bit of pop culture, a little bit of other stuff, mostly hockey. SDP VIP, all hockey. SDP VIP ad free. If you upgrade that tier, you get all four episodes ad free. All of them ad free. You can do this on Spotify as well. You can do this on Apple Music as well. Now, Oh, yeah, and you also get a like a green name in the chat. If you've been wondering how people got those, you get to use cool emojis. We have, like, what, a dozen of them? Now, we have a little game that we like to play. It's called the 10-second game where I only get 10 seconds to find something from my room and tell a story about it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I usually need to use the whole 10 seconds. Hey, there, Dr. Doc uh, Productions. Welcome to STP VIP. Adam says, what's your heart rate? It's high, but not as high as it was when this photo was taken. That is a much younger, skinnier me with Patrice Bergeron. Now, I got this interview uh, because I should not have gotten it. This was a media day. This is actually on the Coach's Corner. Uh, set for Hockey Night in Canada. That's where I was stationed that day. I had a list of players uh, back when I worked at Sportsnet for who I was supposed to interview. Patrice Bergeron was not on it. 
And he walked in along with the Bruins media handler. And uh, he goes, hey, am I supposed to be here? And I went, no, yes. I lied. I lied to Patrice Bergeron. And I sat him down and I had nothing planned. I didn't know what to ask him until I did immediately. The second he sat down, I'm like, you and I are going to talk about game seven in 2013. And we talked about it. And we talked about winning a Stanley Cup in 2011. We talked about what it meant to not just win the Cup in 2011, but to avenge their embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Flyers in 2010. Winning a Stanley Cup erases everything. You know what happened to the Bruins in 2010? They played the Flyers, went up 3-0 in the series over them, blew it, series goes to 7, Bruins have a 3-0 series or 3 nothing lead in game 7, blow that and lose the series. Next year, they go to 7 against Montreal, they sweep the Flyers for redemption, 7 against Tampa, 7 against the Canucks. So I got to talk to Patrice Bergeron about that. I wish I could tell you he was a jerk and a dick and all that. He was not. He was excellent. Casey says, greetings from Utica, New York, Steve. Go Leafs. Absolutely. Will O'Brien and uh, Crimson, welcome to STP VIP. Cassie, this uh, this game is either going to be a 6 nothing blowout or 1-1 one, one going into triple overtime. Oh, gosh. So, the second period is about to begin. Lots of people signing up for VIP and ad-free. Love it. So, McAvoy and Domi both went to the box very early on in 4-on-4 four four play. I think it was Hampus Lindholm. Was it Hampus Lindholm? Took a penalty on Mitch Marner. So, the Leafs will start the third, uh, sorry, the second period with a four on three. It's a minute 50. Puck is dropped. Leafs win it back. This is the SDPN Steve Dangle watch along presented by Sports Interaction. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Marner with it to Riley. It's Marner, Riley, Matthews, and Tavares. Marner with it. This is a huge opportunity in this game. Matthews, oh, shoot that. Oh, Tavares with the tip goes wide, and the Bruins will just clear it. There's a lot of ice out there. A lot of ice. Seventh-ranked penalty kill versus the seventh-ranked power play from the regular season. Still a minute 10 in the Leafs' power play. Matthews, Tavares, Riley, Marner. Marner. Down low to Matthews, Riley, Matthews, Riley, Matthews, shoot it, Marner, 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 whoa, puts it on, rebound, Tavares, tries to go 5-0 on Swayman, that's an excellent save, and we get a whistle here, 18.52 to go in the second period, 42 seconds to go in this power play, Marner looking to the bench. As if to say, what do you want me to do? Are we coming off or not? I don't know. Four on three power plays. They don't come around very often. You might want to stick with these guys. Let's see what they do. 42 seconds to go in the power play. 18.52 to go in the second. Marner's still out there. Tavares for the draw against Coyle. Both guys go down. Ref says, hey, I'm the star of the show. Let's do this properly. Tavares wins it back to Marner. Matthews! Shot high and wide. Tavares. Marner. Marner. Matthews. <gasps> again going for the tip, and again it almost works, and again Swayman stops it. Tavares wins that puck battle. Matthews. Marner. 23 seconds. Matthews. Again Tavares in front, and again stopped. Two Leafs down low. Coyle is going to rush it out. That's the wise choice so the Bruins can get new legs over the boards, and this will basically kill the power play. Marner to Matthews. Leafs will have one last rush here with five seconds to go here in this power play. Bruins pick it off. Marner saves it from being an odd man rush, but the Leafs desperately need to change, and the Bruins survive. 
key kill in this game. Leafs only two shots on goal. A lot of blocks. I wonder how many attempts they had. Oh, breakaway. Kelly Arncroke shoots. Stopped by Swayman. Rebound. Robertson stopped. Holmberg. One-handed. He's hit. Lilligren has the puck go behind him, and the Leafs lose the zone. Is this going to be ice, though? Yeah, Jake McCabe sure is skating like it. Yep. McCabe complaining about it to the official. I don't know what. Dev Dev, welcome to SDP VIP ad free. Oh, Robertson was just a hair behind that rebound. Oh, the puck actually snuck through Swayman. Oh. Third line in the offensive zone. Holmberg. He's got Yarn Croak and Robertson with him. Peak behind the net. Again, another board battle. Yarn Croak oh, drilled in the spine by Zaka. Jake DeBrus basically standing on the puck. Wonder Davy. Brad! There's nothing Brad can do. Brad for living. His job is done. He's a general manager. All his work has, has been done. He's got to put them in the best position to win. Edmondson trying to give instruction to Lilligren there. That ah, works. Leafs chip it in. They get it deep. This is the fourth line out there on the ice. Dewar with Kampf and Reeves. I didn't realize until uh, I watched that first goal back, Reeves with a really poor choice of a hit led to that two-on-one. Uh-oh! McAvoy blocked! Sammy, he's down! He's out! But Kampf... Picks off the pass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, good play from Camp to pick it off of Pasta. Dewar. Oh, he had Reeves there. Ah, he fans on the shot. And now the Leafs got to think about changing, but here come the Bruins. Shot. That goes into the corner. McCabe and Benoit in there. I think that's geeky. Leafs chip it out. No icing. Good chip. 16.07 to go in the second period. Frederick going at it with Labushkin. Both guys leave the puck behind. Labushkin. Labushkin for checking. But someone's got to stay back. Easy, boys. Bertuzzi wrapped up with Frederick. Riley wrapped up with Frederick. Boosh. Oh, boy. Bit of a no-looker to Domi. It works out okay. Matthews, he might have a chance for a break. Here it is. Matthews. Oh, off the bar. Are you joking? Oh, you got to be kidding. Jeremy Swayman leaves the net to play the puck completely ill-advised, and Matthews rings it off the bar. No. 15-11 to go in the second. Here come the Leafs again. This time it's Tavares. He's got Nyes with him. Oh, my God. Oh, Tavares dropped it for Nyes. Good chance. Ah, Tavares can't find a man. I, I can't. I can't. Shots are 5 nothing for the Leafs to start the second period. Oh. Dude. Weak. I can't believe that didn't go in. Nice. Oh, boy. Giveaway. Nice. Makes up for it. Taking the puck off of DeBrusque. Benoit. Oh, boy. Here come the Bruins. Puck deflected wide. Yarn croak. Bodying Lindholm. So many board battles already in this game. Shot. Scored. Brandon Carlo with a one-time bomb. And with 14-13 to go in the second, it's 2-0 Boston. Ah, uh, the goal horn, zombie nation. Doesn't it take you back? Doesn't it take you back? It's so good to be back in Boston. I just friggin' love it. They blow it in 2013. There's the post. There's the post. That's good. 
They bought it in 2018. They bought it in 2019. We wait for uh, half a decade for the technology to improve. And this way I'm able to stream my sadness. Yeah, producer Drew with a good point. That's now the first shot of both periods. Samsonov is allowed. Very cool. Very cool. Under 14 minutes to go in the second. Leafs top line on the ice. Matthews fans on it. Leafs now plus 500 according to Sports Interaction. A $2 Steve would win you. Is it 10 bucks? Could do worse. Could do worse than that. <sighs> Timothy Lilligren with it behind the Leafs net. Everyone just waiting for each other. 13-22 to go in the second period. Leafs leading in shots, 17-12. to The Bruins have had two really good chances and capitalized on. Leafs had an empty net and have not capitalized. Dewar might have a chance here. Reeves. Oh, Reeves! Reeves! Kampf in front. No one there. Leafs can't hold the zone. 13 minutes to go. Del Tago, if you're a goaltender, leave your net and let the post do the work. Oh! Samsonov covers it up with 12.49 to go in the second period. Reeves trying to get Frederick to go. I mean, that makes zero sense for Trent Frederick. Oh, as we go into TV time out. These watch alongs on SDPN here with me, Steve Dangle, are presented by Sports Interaction. Sports Interaction is home for all uh, playoff in game betting, sitting on best in class platform, making it incredibly easy to place a bet, including same game parlays, custom props, and odds focusing on the games that matter to you. Plus a 24-7 casino with live dealers, including thousands of games to choose from. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Got that wrong the first time. Sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Or scan the QR code to open an account. That's sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Sports Interaction, your homegrown sportsbook. Bet local, 19 plus, Ontario only. Please play responsibly. Paul Douglas, early rant. Does Wool start game two? We are not already there. We are not already there, Paul. Listen, this was always going to be the difference in this series. Um, on paper, the Leafs should kill these guys. They really should. That's not how the season series has gone. And a big reason for that is goaltending. Except for, people forget this, the game where Lilligren got injured, Leafs were down 2 nothing. They came back to tie it. Samsonov was the only reason they were in that game. The only reason they were in that game. At the end of the day, you got to score goals. And the Leafs haven't. I'm far more concerned by the zero than the two. I don't like either of them. From Jared Froman, using Olive Garden dishes, describe Leafs players. So here's the problem. There's some Leaf players I don't really like all that much, but uh, I like food. I like think I like food more than the players. Something with bell peppers in it, because I don't like bell peppers. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. 12.43 to go in the second period. Sammy doesn't know where it is. Yes, he does. He covers it up. And we got a scrum in the crease. Get out of there, Ilya. Get out of there, buddy. Jay Money said at least the Leafs made the playoffs. Jay Money is a uh, Flyers fan. I love Misty. Just wait until the Leafs fall behind in a 3-1 series deficit only to win the next two and force a game seven. I mean, the Leafs did it to the Bruins in 2013. They did it to the Bruins in 2018. Lost both times. The Bru uh, Panthers did it to the Bruins last year and won. The Bruins low-key have had some pretty 
bad endings to their playoffs in recent memory, but they've also had some pretty good playoff. Uh, Casey, as a Red Wings fan, Leafs going to have James Reimer back. No. Do you know what building this game is being played in right now? <laughs> Leafs have the puck. One, two, three, four to go in the second period. Leafs down 2 nothing. It's bad, but not impossible to come back from. They're out shooting the Bruins 20-13. to Unreal. I mean, Matthews, if we're going to rip on Ilya, I mean, Matthews ringing that one off the bar. I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. You had a wide open net. Riley collecting the puck, advances it up the ice. There's Pontus Holmberg. Rings it behind the net. Yarncroke wasn't there, and he heads off for a change. Matthews is out there. Here comes Lauko. He's got a step on McCabe. Forced behind the net. Ooh! He goes face first into the boards. He trips over some feet. McCabe stopped at center. Matthews, a uh, bit of a giveaway there. Simone Benoit gets it, though. Up the ice. The Leafs are trying to open up the ice a little bit here. It's working to a degree. Max Domi, high, batted away. Domi, again, looking for options. Finds Bertuzzi, who kicks it into the corner. Oh, Lindholm knocked to the ice by Bertuzzi. Kampf, Edmondson, Bertuzzi. Leafs obviously trying to get a change in here. Kampf deflects it. Edmondson. Leafs attack with number shot, gloved by Swayman. And the Leafs will get an ozone draw, another scrum after the whistle. Bruins just smiling in their face. Uh, Eris Mix, I'm a Hawks fan. I am luckily familiar with the Bruins' low-key and underrated choking history. Hashtag 17 seconds. Never, ever let them forget. Uh, tip for Toronto from a Blues fan, just keep hitting. You're not wrong. That is exactly how the Blues won that series. SL. My wife? No. SL gifted five SDPN memberships. Shot attempts, 31 to 30 in favor of the Bruins. Shots, 21 to 13 for the Leafs. Leafs getting in front of a lot of shots, but they gave up two really good opportunities the Bruins were able to bury. Marner loses the draw in the offensive zone with 10.45 to go in the second period. Paola Bellin uh, pointing out, I mean, the Leafs demolished the Lightning in Game 1 in 22. They lost. The Leafs got demolished in Game 1 uh, last year, and they won. So Game 1 does not make a series. Leafs beat the Bruins, I want to say 4-1 in Game 1 in 2019. Stopped from Samsonov on Matt Grizzlick. Yeah, Leafs had a really convincing win over the Bruins in uh, Game 1 in 2019. Marner had a... Uh, uh, penalty shot goal. I want to say Connor Brown scored. And then game two was like one of the worst officiated games in NHL history. Nazem Kadri lost his mind and got suspended for the rest of the series. And there you go. Leafs did have a chance to close out in game six at home though. And they put up a very poor defensive effort. 10, 23 to go in the second period. This is the SDPN YouTube channel. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. And sign up for SDP VIP and upgrade to SDP VIP ad free. The Boston Bruins put it on. Deflected. Sam Benoit. Simon Benoit. Sime? What's the short version of si Simon? Anyway, Bruins. Try to get it into the leave zone. Again, another board battle. This has just been a war so far. Not a fun hockey game. And it can't feel good to lose these hockey games where you're spending this much energy, this much effort. Leafs without McMahon, without Nylander. I don't think that's why they're losing right now, though. Benoit behind the net with Boquist. Maroon. 
the big rig. Camp with it. Camp getting a lot of ice tonight. Yarn croak in there. Bruins able to uh, able to exit easy as the Leafs uh, get a line change out there. I think Keith might have the blender going. Nice. He's not on the greatest angle. Waits for friends. Bruins strip it off him. It's pasta. Here he comes on Lilligren. Good effort. Oh my goodness. Three Leafs had to take it off him. Here comes Marner. Two on three. Can't chip it into Tavares. Becoming a bit of a derby here. Grizzlick has it in the neutral zone. 8.55 to go in the second period. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Lilligren up the ice. Bertuzzi to Matthews shot. Stop by Swayman. Oh, looking for a rebound in front. Matthews one on two behind the net. Riley gets it to Burt. Lots of time, lots of space. Puts it into the corner. Oh, man. Really felt like he had some time there. Max Domi tries to get it across to Riley. Doesn't work. Boosh in real deep. Riley can't hold the zone. Whoops. Couple mistakes there. Bertuzzi. And uh, play is whistled on a hand pass. Pasta looking dangerous there. Lilligren, good effort. And it was nice on the back check. I thought it was Connor Dewar. 23 versus 24. Whoo! And we are now in a TV timeout. Man, 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 man. So what do you guys want to talk about? <sighs> Producer Drew with a great question. If Matthews is given that shot, the one where he hit a post on an empty net, if he's given that shot a hundred times, how many times does he hit the net? Probably 101. There's, there's probably at least a couple times where he cracks a puck in half and scores twice. I can't, I can't believe you missed that. Whoa, Jean-Sebastien Roy. Wow, sorry. Uh, gifted 20 SDPN memberships. You gem. You beauty. So if you're new here, if someone gifts you a membership, uh, that signs you up for SDP VIP and you get it free uh, for one month. You have the option of saying, hey, I really like this. I'm going to keep this going. Uh you have the option of bailing if you don't like it. Uh, you have the option of upgrading it to uh, STP VIP ad free if you like. And you could also do super chats like Casey just did. Maximum Domi was looking pretty good there. He just wasn't able to find his target. We are back from commercial break. Bertuzzi and Domi. Had, honestly, they've looked pretty productive with Matthews tonight. The problem in the first period was Bertuzzi went to the box, dumb penalty and Domi went to the box. <laughs> Producer Drew says it doesn't get any more Bo Boston Bruins and Brandon Carlo and John Beecher getting the first two goals. Uh, Zachary says, go Bruins. Boo you Zachary. <laughs> Thank you for being a member. <laughs> 8.16 to go in the second period. Leafs down 2-0 to the Boston Bruins. Holmberg in there. Decent little hit there on Charlie McAvoy. Leafs have had a lot of the puck this period. McCabe into the corner. Yarn croak after it. Won't get there in time. Holmberg spinning. One-handed. Juvia says, can we get a very loud and inspirational from you. Were, were you inspired? I hope so. Sammy gloves it with 745 to go in the second period. Bruins still up 2 nothing. Bobby McMahon is such a low-key loss for this team. Like, he was a decent fourth-line player. Then he became 
higher up in the lineup as an offensive option. Then you start seeing him in defensive situations more and more. And you're like, oh, this is just a good player. This is just a really good utility knife. Utility knife? This is just a really good player you can use in all sorts of situations. He's he's in a really low-key loss for the Leafs. Jean-Sebastien Wah would love to sponsor an episode. You should uh, message info at sdpn.ca. Bruins, take a shot off the face-off glove by Sammy. 7.42 to go in the second period. We'll get another whistle. P2 for... I'm not going to read that. That sounds sexual. <laughs> Natalie Drake, am I supposed to be having fun? I don't think I am. I'm having a great time. I don't know about you. Puck is dropped. Grizzly puts it on behind the net now. Tavares. Already tied up by Grizzly. God, the Bruins are all over the place. They are city TV everywhere. Marner. To Jake McCabe, who has had the puck a lot. Swayman, again, bobbles the puck a little bit. Almost gives it away. Nice. Doing a good job there on Danton Heinen. Nice has had a good little night so far. Leafs, ah, McCabe just couldn't hold the line. Patient with the puck, though. <sighs> Gets it to Lilligren, only just. Lilligren smashed there by Pasta. Lilligren with the puck. Is Marner getting a turn with Matthews here? Or is he looking for a line change? No, he's looking for a change. They're getting Domi out there. Funny little bounce. Bruins get out anyway. Riley recovers. Domi with it. Shoots! Oh! Just up and over. Bertuzzi, good job for the keep. Domi, woo! To Burt, shot, stopped by Swayman. And we got a whistle. The Leafs had the puck the whole time. Are they taking another another offensive zone penalty? Oh, my God. Oh, and it was Matthew so uncharacteristic. Oh, that's a terrible penalty. 6.22 to go in the second period. The Leafs got to kill one, and they got to do it without Matthews. James Gentry, as much as I don't like the Leafs, I'll root for your boys till the finals. If you ro uh, root for my boys, the Canucks. Hey, that would do me and Adam just fine because Adam Wild is streaming the Canucks series against the Preds. I'm doing this one. All series long, Leafs Bruins. 6.22 to go in the second period. Leafs got to kill this one or the game is going to be real tough to win. It's already pretty tough to win. They're down 2 nothing. Leafs dump it. That'll kill some time. Two offensive zone high-sticking calls. That will kill you. Whether you get scored on or not, like that's time where you could just be trading blows 5-on-5 five five instead of getting exhausted on the penalty kill. Edmondson is able to clear it. 30 seconds gone here. Thank you to Shiloh for gifting five STPN memberships. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. 5.43 to go in the second period, A buck twenty to go in this Bruins power play. Zaka gains the zone. Denied by Mitch. Minute 10 to go in this power play. 5.30 to go in the second period. Oh, I thought I'd get a crack there. I really did. DeBrusque with it. Bruins gain the zone. Benoit. Labushkin. Not able to clear. Good keep there from Marchand. Geeky. Yeah, the Bruins are set now. Leafs have avoided this so far, but this is less than ideal. DeBrusque scores. He was here last time. He was here in 2019. He had a huge game in game six when the Leafs could have eliminated the Bruins on home ice, but they didn't. 
And with just under five minutes to go in the second period, the Leafs are down 3 nothing to Boston. Amrit uh, saying, no true Canucks fan would ever support the Leafs. Ignore that last guy. I will enjoy every moment of your downfall. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Did ya? Uh, Noel Morrison, uh, what do you think the Leafs will have to do in the third if they don't score b- before intermission? Stop taking friggin' high-sticking calls in the offensive zone. Has Matthews ever done that in his entire life? An offensive zone high-sticking penalty? He's taken like 20 minor penalties his entire career. Max Domi with it. Gloved by Swayman. Our play and penalty kill, we said it in the preview, would be huge. Uh, MV33, LMAO, another first round exit. I mean, that's not quite how it goes. You you think the Leafs are going to let us off easy? You think if the Leafs get eliminated in the first round, they're just going to be like, oh, yeah, and roll over? Nope, it's going to be seven games of agony, like it always is. So get comfy, all right? Uh, SL, did you ever play StarCraft multiplayer? And if so, what was your race of choice? Um, everyone just used Zerg and rushed you, and I hated it. I didn't play multiplayer very much because I sucked. <laughs> uh, I, I like Protoss. I was better with Protoss. Ugh. Oh. After this game, I will be on my own YouTube channel, Steve Dangle, Steve Dangle, all one word, doing my LFR video. LFR stands for Leafs Fan Reaction, where I will be talking about every moment of this lovely game. Can we get a poll in the chat? Uh, Terran, Zerg, or Protoss? Uh, Producer Drew is like, how do I spell that? T-E-R-R-A-N. Zerg is Z-E-R-G. T-E-R-R-A-N. How dare you, Drew? How don't you know this? Zerg or Protoss? P-R-O-Toss. Kale uh, says, I miss Doc Emmerich. I liked them on the video games. I really did. I didn't get, as a Canadian, didn't get to listen to them as much as I should have. Drew put Protus, like the Bruins prospect. Boo. Boo in the chat for Drew. We're back from TV timeout. 440 to go in the second period. Leafs with an offensive zone draw. I mean, if they got aspirations of winning this game uh they got to get one before the end of the second period here domi can't hold the zone riley now with lilligren in the offensive zone and they said that was offside it's pretty close oh The Leafs are plus 1,600. Ooh, that hurts. Plus 1,600 according to Sports Interaction. Uh, And they're finally announcing the 3-0 goal in Boston. There was a whistle there. Are they getting another penalty? Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. You guys are brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Max Domi going to the box. Yeah, I mean, you slash Marshand above the glove. What are you even complaining about? I mean, that's exactly the sort of dirty thing he would do. But, like, yeah, it's a penalty. Dude. They're going to take you off Matthew's line, dude. Carter Little, I'm a Lightning fan, and I would rather play the Bruins than the Leafs, but I can always watch the Bruins lose. Go, Leafs, go. 
Yeah, Marsh. I mean, Domi got Marshan on the bone. Of course, he's gonna get called. Four fifteen to go in the second period. This game one is not going well, to say the least. Pasta gains the zone. Dumped to the ice from Kampf. Bruins hold the zone, though. It's unreal to me that Patty Maroon is on a first unit power play on a playoff team. I mean, the guy, good teams want him. Say whatever you want. Uh, Alec says, how about them Bruins? They're pretty good. I think the Leafs are, oh my God, Pasta almost scored. I think the Leafs are being bad more than the Bruins are being good. Like, you can't take this many calls. So many unforced errors. Offensive zone, neutral zone, off the face-off. Like, that's just three pe three penalties. That's six minutes in the box you don't need to take. Ridiculous. We got a whistle. It's so loud in TD Garden. That's two straight whistles that they've missed. <sighs> Dude. Welcome to the SDPN YouTube channel. If you enjoy my misery, stick around because I'm going to be streaming every game of this series. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Justin says the Leafs in the first round are a triangle and a square peg. They won last year. 45 seconds to go in this Bruins power play. The Leafs clear it three minutes to go in the second period. <laughs> Nova Khan says maximum stupid penalties. That's funny. McAvoy drops it for Marshand, who you know is about to score. They're chanting Samsonov in TD Garden. Leafs in the offensive zone, trying to kill off the rest of this penalty. Jeff said, here for Schadenfreude, not going to lie, but chin up and keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks. Don't tell me keep the chin up if you're here for Schadenfreude. Tell me to huff farts. And the Bruins score. There you go. There's your schadenfreude. Jake DeBrus gets his second of the game set up by Brad Marchand because Max Domi is spending so much money. Contract year, you're a playmaking forward on the line of the best goal scorer in the world. And what do you do? You spend half the game in the box. What are you doing? And now the Leafs are down 4 nothing, and this game is likely out of reach, but we'll stick around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Bertuzzi, what are you doing? Matthews, what are you doing? Domi, what are you doing? And he's going at it again! You're clueless! You're clueless! You think Trent Frederick's going to go you right now? They're up 4 nothing. You're clueless! Awful, awful performance from Max Domi right now. Awful. Here comes Matthews. They're all over Samsonov. Lilligren, just shoot the thing! Matthews, tip from Domi. Stopped. Riley, into the corner. Matthews shoots. Doesn't get the deflection that he wanted. Puck goes out. Fretzel mania. Steve, I turned 40 on Tuesday. The Leafs aren't helping my cardiovascular health. I had to turn this off. Been watching you since 09. Cheers. How do you think I feel? I wish we could get maximum Domi. We're getting minimum Domi. SL said, remember when Adam Wilde said Max Domi was good? He is. He's just playing like an idiot. Amrit. Ah, yes, 4 nothing. Exactly how the series is going to end. No, nah, Amrit, I bet you could do better. I bet you could do better than that. <laughs> okay, Tails, that's funny. Max Domi is an introvert and likes to be alone. That made me laugh. Uh, looks like we're getting a penalty. Can Matthews just take another penalty? What's going on, guys?
Boston took a penalty? Thank God. Oh, Marshan tripped, uh, Ma- or Coyle rather, tripped Matthews. Bertuzzi laid a hit. That's what started the scrum. Bertuzzi, nice smelly glove there on peak. Uh, Clayman V, every time the Leafs make the playoffs, I think when the going gets tough, the Leafs get going away from the game because they always F up. Yeah, they are not doing well. Thank you, Adriano. Uh, Jeremy, at least the brutal play is coming out early, only up from here. God, I hope you're right. Coyle's arguing that he's he dropped his stick so it shouldn't be a penalty. Okay, every person who's ever took a trip ever. Alex said, what do I have to do to get you to wear a Bruins jersey? A lot more. Bruins, clear it. A buck 45 to go in the second period. Uh, the Leafs have basically the rest of the second period on the power play unless they score. Yarn Croak is out there on the top unit? Leafs lose the zone. They're down 4 nothing. Cool. Yarn Croak drops it for Matthews. Here he comes. Bruins knocking into the corner. Uh, Leafs come up with it. Riley, whoop, being chased. Stays on side, though. Bruins fans saying he wasn't. Marshan there in the second row. He's the expert. Marner, under a minute to go here in the second and on this power play. Marner. Riley! Shot blocked. Bruins clear it. Victor Holland says, greetings from Firebirds and Gulls uh, in San Diego. I'm at the game. Huge Leaf fan. Go Leafs, go. Uh, You're at a better game than this one. Here comes Nick Robertson, who we haven't seen for a while because the Leafs have been in the box too much. Bruins come out of the corner with it, and they'll attack two on two with what's remaining of the second period here. Stopped. Five, four, three, two, one. And apparently that went off the bar. Leafs don't even get a shot there to end the second period. Awful. Awful. Oh, it did hit the bar. So that's the Bruins, like, fourth bar of the game. And they're up 4 nothing. What's the like? What's the like? Uh, SDPN said, will the Leafs score in the first minute of the third period? No, I voted no, because they're playing like crap and playing like idiots. 9,000 people here to watch my misery. I guess that's good. Uh, Omar, it's an odd, uh, a team has so many boogeymen. The Bruins, Corey Perry, Philip Deneau, with stars like Matthews and Marner, shouldn't fear anyone. Omar, I think you're starting to see the problem. Listen, the Leafs lose this series, it's over. I know we said that last year. They started with Dubas. Here's how back words this is. Leafs lose this series. There's a new CEO in place at Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment. Leafs lose this series. They are almost for sure going to fire Brendan Shanahan. And my guess is they fire Sheldon Keefe too. But let's back up. Let's back up. If the Leafs fire Brendan Shanahan a year after firing Kyle Dubas and bringing in Brad Treliving, a guy who Brendan Shanahan hired, who the hell is at the wheel of this company?
producer drew reminding me that the leafs uh got slapped in game one last year against the lightning and it's true what was it it was like seven two seven three bunting got suspended it was not good uh guppy said is matthews the james harden of the nhl great score in the regular season playoffs he's just not the same uh james harden's won a lot more playoff series than austin matthews Laser beam sends fan here. Fire Keith like years ago. Uh, Luke Jacobs, did you pick Dallas uh, only so they wouldn't put you in a vignette or compilation? No, I picked Dallas because I genuinely think they're a really, really, really good hockey team. Guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show here on SDPN. It's Steve Dangle, the sad clown, here to do what I do annually, and that's talk about the Leafs getting their asses kicked in the first round. I know it's game one. I know it is. They're down 4 nothing. It says odds aren't even available. That's how bad they're getting their asses kicked. By the way, this is presented by Sports Interaction. And I look at this and I'm like, what should they do differently? I mean, Ryan Reeves shouldn't go for a silly hit that led to the two-on-one early, gave the Bruins a one-nothing lead, for sure. This game, in general, has been decently even. I think. It's been decently even. They've taken three, three completely unforced error penalties. The Matthews punch on Charlie McAvoy, or Matthews, the Domi punch on Charlie McAvoy doesn't really count because at least McAvoy went off with him, right? At least McAvoy went off with him. Domi took a stupid slash on Marchand, really stupid, and complained about it. Matthews took an offensive zone, high stick, Bertuzzi took an offensive zone high stick. Are you guys trying to lose? You're trying to lose, aren't you? I mean, that's how you do it. That's for sure how you do it. And now they're down 4 nothing after 2. Let's get to 10,000 likes, everyone. I'm miserable. I'm miserable. And the only prescription in absence of more cowbell is 10,000 likes. Let's get us there. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. From Firespire, Domi is channeling every ounce of Nazem Kadri uh, when he's on the Leafs and not suspended. Ugh, it's just killing me, dude. It's just killing me. <laughs> Caden Nam, uh, this would be a great game to break the shutout streak, eh? See, I think the Leafs have been shut out. I want to say they've been shut out in playoff games. I'm not totally sure. But regular season, they have a streak of like, it's like 300 games or something stupid. Duncan saying the same thing. Bad Pims, Domi doing his best to be Kadri. Jeremy Heath. First it was, we need to toughen up. And now it's the gooning and enforcing that is absolutely destroying this team. I, they can't find the mix. On Sportsnet, they're speculating whether or not Nylander was actually hurt in game 82. Listen, it's fishy. It is fishy. I mean, they said he just woke up sore. Now, it's worth mentioning. I mean, Leaf should have rested a lot more guys. I think Matthews was chasing a milestone and so was Nylander. Nylander wanted 100 points. Nylander's gone 11 games without a goal. He probably got hurt a while ago, and it probably came to a head in game 82. They got cute. 
And now they don't have Nylander or McMahon for game one. They could use a goal. Landon, on the bright side, you don't have to worry about Matthews going back home to Arizona anymore. Should have fired Shanny and given Dubas what he wanted. I don't know if you've noticed. Pittsburgh's not in the playoffs. There's a lot about what I like about the post-Dubas Leafs. There's a lot that I like about the Dubas Leafs. <laughs> uh, text from my wife. Wow, this game. I'm going to sleep. It's painful. I'm going to send her a thumbs up emoji to let her know I received it. Ali said Leafs PK needs to be better. Crash the net. Swayman has had an easy night. I think you mean power play. Uh, no net front presence. Dude, I mean, their special teams are, are are trash. They're trash. Like that first DeBrus goal, uh, they're showing on the broadcast right now. Ilya Samsonov did not see this puck. Morgan Geeky has this giant black jersey just completely covering everything. And it's Jake Allen uh, going to bat for Sammy. Unreal. Town, he says, loves you, love you and everything you do. Watching from TD Garden in my seat. It's only game one. Breathe, breathe, but go bees. What do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. Uh, Mark Hudak. I don't know if I want to be quoting Drake right now. Uh, Mark Hudak. Steve, let's talk about something else. I'm from Utah, and I am excited. Why? What if your team turns out to be the Leafs? Uh, I believe our team will rise from the ashes and should be renamed as such. They should be called the Utah Phoenix thoughts. I saw that suggested. It's really funny. I think Gary Bettman would veto it and he'd be right. I'm not going to defend a lot of his decisions. He'd be right. Too many people would be way too upset. <laughs> I missed one from Paul Douglas. What'd he say? Seriously, who starts game two in net? Um, oh, boy. <sighs> oh. <sighs> I, producer Drew is saying, depends on the third, which is what I was thinking of saying. They're down for nothing. Like, okay, what do we got? We got an uncontested uh, one-timer. We got, or no, sorry. It was a two-on-one. That was the one-nothing goal. Uncontested one-timer. Was it on the power play, the Brandon Carlo one? And then DeBrusque scores twice. Again, wide open. With a big screen. And then no one picks him up in front of the net on the power play. Like, yeah, you'd like a damn save. And Swayman's been incredible, except for the one time he missed the net. They're just not good enough. Like, what's what's Wool going to do? Like, what you're doing is asking the Leafs goalies to steal it. To steal one. And yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. It'd be nice. Your goalies are Ilya Samsonov and Joseph Wool, eh? Like Wool's like a second year player on a less than million dollar deal. Samsonov is making tandem money. These guys are not world beaters. And it's a little bit unfair to ask them to be. The pressure should be on Brad Treliving and Brendan Shanahan to get better goalies. Here are the Leafs. Look back to all the Leaf playoff victories that you remember from your childhood, unless you're too young. They had world-beating goalies who stole them series. Belfour was pretty good. Cujo was just stealing them. Felix Podven, especially early career Felix Podven, was great. Dude, you need goaltending. Shouldn't need to be said. 
Jared P. Tell your wife uh, you love her. I always do. Uh, hope uh, everyone at SDPN is happy and healthy. Thanks for all the content, guys. P.S. I hope your mental health is good uh, besides the Leaf stuff. I'm a new parent. Uh, so it's up and down. <laughs> I sound like crap uh, because of allergies. And I'm hoping uh, my body just sort of gets over it. Christopher says, worry about Sammy cannot handle pressure in lofts. Are you making fun of the Leafs by calling them the lofts? Or are you calling the playoffs the lofts? Because it's the yoffs. I've always called them the yoffs. <laughs> uh, Folk says, I don't want to add your suffering, but 1967. If you guys want to chirp me, with two bucks, I will gladly be the dude sitting in the dunk tank. Josh Kahn, uh, I understand asking uh, who should start net is the real question, uh, but who needs to start getting goals? Leafs need their DeBrusque to step up. I mean, Bobby McMahon's their damn DeBrusque, and he's not playing. Someone's got to score here. For God's sake, like every year, every year, the real problem is they can't score. I don't know what they do. Producer Drew uh, telling me I got a lot of super chats here. I literally cannot keep up. I cannot keep up. Yeah, read them. Who said this? Richard Isaac said, do I think Rod the Bod is the Sabres' next head coach? Rod Brindamore? Who won game one between the uh, Hurricanes and Isles? It was the Hurricanes, wasn't it? 3-1. What makes you think Rod the Bod is getting fired? I mean, maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. I, I highly, highly doubt it. Caden Nam. Oh, apparently the Leafs shutout streak includes the playoffs, so it'd be nice for them to get one. But who cares about that streak, honestly? Uh, Natalie McCarthy, uh, you should do streams for the PWHL playoffs so you can finally see Toronto win something. It's not a bad idea. I think my biggest flaw as a human being, uh, uh, that's not true. One of my many flaws as a human being is I'm only one person. And uh, if I did any more than I'm doing, I would... Uh, confidently i would die uh market manager mike is jack campbell available <laughs> heard he's a good number one okay you're a plant you're an oilers plant salty captain why are people complaining about sammy when no one is scoring also let's go bruins love from finland um i mean nothing's going right you want to complain take your pick take your pick honestly i i do agree with you though like I don't think Sammy's gotten a lot of help on the goals that went in. And they also haven't scored a bloody goal. This is a terrible game. The Leafs are playing terribly. Matthews hit a, a post on an empty net. That's inexcusable. He's got to step it up. Matthews took a really stupid uh, offensive zone penalty. As did Bertuzzi. As did Max Domi. That's your entire top line taking a stupid penalty each. Who told you you were going to win playoff games doing that? And that's Sammy's fault? I don't think he's been very good. I don't I don't think he's been he certainly hasn't been the best goalie in this game. That's been Swayman. That's Sammy's fault? Uh, you know, guys like me saying Marner's got to step it up. Marner's got to step it up. They try to spread the wealth. And the they're failing. They're failing miserably. I love Misty. If the baseball Rangers can win their first World Series last year after being around since 1961, surely the Leafs can win a cup. Rangers never did beat the Leafs, though, did they? Uh, the Leafs. The Blue Jays. <laughs> Clue. Big, big money need to score. Literally their job. I think John Tavares has looked pretty good. Marner's 
had the puck a bunch. Matthews is involved, but like, dude, it's ridiculous that the Leafs have invested this much in their forwards. And every year we're like, oh, they don't score enough. All right. Like at least one of you has to go. One of you has got to go. If they don't win the series, one of you has got to go. At least, at least one, if not two. Steve Morgan, I'm a huge Bees fan. I have a hatred for the Leafs, but it breaks my heart. Uh, but my heart breaks for you and only you whenever I see the Bees and laughs lined up for round one. Thank you, I think. Dave Wolf, uh, Steve, what would be worse? Losing to the Bruins in game seven again or a sweep? Seven. No, sorry, a sweep. A sweep. I can handle a loss in seven. I've seen it. A sweep? Dude, that means you suck. That means you suck. I'm not going to talk about, oh, it was a close sweep. I'm not Rod the Bod. Brett W. Do you think the core not getting too involved in scrums is a ma major contributor to the Leafs not being able to find middle ground between skill and toughness, relying on depth guys instead of the core? You know what? If you watch other teams, like even Marshand, Matthew Kachuk, those guys are really good at starting the scrums and getting the hell out of there. So it's not necessarily that. <sighs> Will Blues and Cards still be in St. Louis when renovations come around or do they walk? Ooh, I don't know enough about that story. St. Louis losing their teams? Nah. Duncan, get Tree on the phone with Calgary to snatch Markstrom. Uh, the Flames are going to be petty. They're not going to let that happen. Leafs, start the third period with like five seconds of a power play. That's over. Lilligren on! Whoa! Edmondson can't hold the line. We're about 20 seconds into the third period. The Boston Bruins lead the Leafs 4-0 in the third period of game one. We're here on the SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Here comes Tavares. Open lane, shot. Stop by Swayman. I uh, felt like he had more time than that. Bertuzzi holds the line. Is that Bert out there? But no, it's a line change. I'm doing my best to keep up with the uh, uh, Super Chats. But gosh, there's so many. Maybe I'll stick around a little later so I can answer some of them. Jay, have you seen your team raise the cup? 1967. Do I look that old? God, I hope not. My dad was 10. It's bad. He says he remembers it, though. David Kampf tries to get it to Reeves. Reeves to Kampf? Shot from Benoit. So rebound. David Kampf gets the Leafs. First goal of the Stanley Cup playoffs. No shutout streak. 18-21 to go in the third period. Lots of time. Leafs still down three, but they are on the board. This was a great shift from Camp. Benoit put it on. Reeves was great in front. So was Dewar. And he finds a streaking and open David Kampf for a wide open net. And the Leafs prove the beast bleeds at very least. They're on the board. Bruins still with a 3-1 lead, but 18-21 to go in the third period. Good fourth line shift. Maybe that's how it starts. Holmberg wins the draw. 18-18 to go in the third. Holmberg, one hand on the stick. It works. Puck in the corner. Leafs now plus 1,800 on sports interaction, by the way. Edmondson puts it on, goes wide. Nick Robertson stops up. Morgan Geeky on him. Robertson stops again. Goes behind him to Holmberg. One hand on the stick. To the point. 
You guys got to do something with it at some point. Riley chasing behind the net. Oh, Robertson cuts it off, shoots. <gasps> Rebound. Oh, just wide. That would have made the game pretty interesting. Robertson going off. Marner out there. Rebound. Shot. Stop. Leafs have the Bruins reeling a little bit. Bruins are probably going to get the clear here. They airmail it out. If that's what the third period looks like, the Leafs might have a shot. Monsieur Bouya says floorball banner, though. All the support to SDPN. Go Bees. Uh, we got a whistle here. Uh, Folksy, Steve, we need to study your suffering handling. Wait, you think I handle it well? Paul Douglas, it was 4-1. We could break the 4-1 curse. Didn't we do that last year? The Leafs overcame a 4-1 deficit last year in the playoffs. First round, too. Offensive zone draw. Leafs lose it. Bruins uh, almost turn it over to Matthews. Benoit holds his own. Matthews with it in his chest, rings it around. He's out there with Marner and Tavares. Leafs hold the blue line. Benoit on wide. Marner, Tavares, Matthews. Benoit! Off the bar. Jake McCabe out there. Ooh, hitting the head. And the Bruins, once again, just chip it out. Oh, boy, they had too many men there for a sec. Mr. Pig said, what a start to the game. Wait, thought this was Bruins coverage. Love your videos, though. Thank you. <laughs> Leafs in the O-zone again. Fourth line in the O-zone again. Reeves out there with the fourth line. Sometimes Yarn Croak has been out there. Usually when it's in the offensive zone, though, it's Reeves. Reeves to the point. Edmondson puts it on wide. If this is how the third period looks, Leafs might get a couple. Just over four minutes gone here in the third period. Still 4-1 Bruins. There's a poll in the chat. Do the Leafs get another power play? If this is how the rest of the third period looks, yes. Leafs with a deflection there. This will not be icing. First line after it, it's Matthews out there with Bertuzzi and Domi. Oh, the hands went in the air there. I thought it was a goal. Boosh. Around. Nope. Bruins are happy to just put it in the leave zone and leave. Riley around for Max Domi. Labushkin on. <gasps> in front. Oh, Riley doesn't get it. The Leafs can't hold the zone. Labushkin's got to go get it. Banhammer. Uh, did you see Jarvis's hit from today? Leafs could use a dynamic, uh, tough guy like that. Yeah, well, they traded the pick, used to draft him to Carolina to dump Marshan, uh, Marshan, Marlowe's contract. A little over five minutes gone here in the third. Bruins clogging up the neutral zone. Leafs find a way through it. Bruins turning around, though. Robertson giving chase to Pasternak. 89 chases 88. Puck in the air. Holmberg in front. Oh, can't find his man. Frederick, again, just chipping it out. Bruins now attacking, though, with their chip outs. Oh! Nick Robertson destroyed. I can't believe he got up from that. That was Morgan Geeky with the huge hit. And the Bruins are going to turn this into offense. Sammy bumped. Geeky bumped. Bruins still with it. Charlie McAvoy. Bruins working the point. Oh, Lauko into the corner. Bruins really have the Leafs hemmed in here. Good block there from Yarncroak. Ooh, he looked hurt. He missed time with a broken knuckle very recently. I think this is his first game back. I think he might have just broken his stick to Lauko taken down. Leafs really at risk here of taking a penalty. They've been hemmed in for over a minute now. 
Oh, they did take a penalty. Great. Good. Cool. They can't hang. They just can't hang in this game. Taking way too many penalties. Puck finally, or uh, whistle finally goes. Robert Bett, the Leafs should pay for your therapy. In a way, they do. In a way. Total malarkey. I'm the guy who always say doesn't exist. I watch SDPN, but haven't seen more than a few hockey games in my life. Y'all just do good stuff. I'm pretty surprised by that, I gotta say. Oh, boy. What are the Leafs? Nope, they took them off. Well, this watch along is brought to you by Sports Interaction. Sports Interaction is your home for all playoff in-game betting, sitting on a best-in-class platform, making it incredibly easy to place a bet, including same-game parlays, custom props, and odds boosts, focusing on the games uh, that matter to you, like this one. Smile, single tier, plus a 24-7 casino with live dealers, including thousands of games to choose from. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. That's sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Or scan the QR code to open an account. Sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Sports Interaction, your homegrown sportsbook. Bet local. 19 plus Ontario only. Please play responsibly. There is so much pollen in the air. <laughs> it really, it's killing me. It's killing me. You can tell. I'm going to try to get to as many of these super chats that I've missed as I can. Paul Douglas, uh, two times the first shot went in. That's right. Harold Morton, I hope Swayman doesn't become 2019 Tuka Rask. I hope he doesn't become any year of Tuka Rask. Um, Zach Lesk, I hate the Leafs, but this is the best way to use two bucks, and he just puts a golf emoji. Uh, it's Jake McCabe in the box, by the way. Uh, haven't watched hockey in a while. This is from... Uh, G Tothio haven't watched hockey in a while. Uh, was a Blackhawks fan, but you know, genuinely feel bad for you at this point, Steve. Thanks. Uh, Jeff win or lose rest easy. Knowing a lot of these players are getting a raise next year. Cool. Cool. 13 04 to go in the third period. Leafs come up with the puck on the penalty kill. They'll attack two on two. I mean, they have to try to score, right? Marner shot is blocked. David camp going after it. Charlie Coyle. Skating through the neutral zone. Gains the zone. Good little skate here from Charlie Coyle. Picked off from David Kampf. Was quickly becoming the MVP of the game for the Leafs, which is not good. First 30 seconds of this penalty killed. I mean, if you kill this penalty, if, you have to score basically immediately to stay in this game. Leafs tying it up behind the net. Here comes Pontus Holmberg. Ooh, taken into the boards. And held! And held! No call. That's ridiculous. Maroon blocked by Lilligren. Here comes Holmberg, who's no longer being held behind the play. That's good. Riley puts it in. Gloved by Swim. I thought we were going to get a whistle there, but no. Dewar almost snowed him again. 40 seconds to go in this Bruins power play. 11.40 to go in the third period. That's how much time the Leafs have to tie it. Matthew Nye's in a penalty-killing role. He's usually not there. He was used there very late in the season. I believe he's replacing Bobby McMahon, who was in that role. Bruins shoot! Where is it? In the air. Benoit trying to break out here. And he just puts it in on Jeremy Swayman. That'll count as a sh shot on goal. Probably shouldn't. Leafs kill the penalty, but now they got to get to work. Get to work, baby. You got to score. Or you're dead. Jake McCabe is out there, but he's going to get off the ice because he was basically playing as a forward there. Kampf is still out there with Matthews. <laughs> he's the Leafs' only goal scorer. 
He's out there with Domi. Labushkin puts it in deep. Camp still out there. Is this just a wonky line change or the coach sending a message? Morgan Riley to Domi. Leafs can't hold the zone. Labushkin got a pretty solid elbow to the face there. Riley giving chase. I think that was Beecher. <laughs> Almost at the halfway mark of the third period. The Leafs got to get one. They got to get one soon. Domi chipping it in. That's a good airmail. And you know what? The Leafs have got an ozone draw out of it. That is a good little chip in. Thank you, Adriano. Lucky number seven, I hope. Uh, Wilgaman, if you want a distraction, what do you think uh, of all the teams leaving cities who won't build a new stadium? Well, I mean, the only team who actually did it is Arizona, and it was a situation that got so stupidly out of hand. I just don't think it's a real thing. Well, I guess they did it in Vegas with the NFL. Uh, maybe you got a point. It seems like they only pick on St. Louis, though. Matthew Nyes with the winger win. Leafs put it into the corner. Ten minutes to go here in the third period. Leafs down 4-1. We're here watching along in the SDPN YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Sammy playing it behind the net. This watch along is presented by Sports Interaction. Hopefully the Leafs uh, can score some goals. And that way, uh, you'll be able to bet on them. <laughs> Whatever allergy medication I took, it's going away. Robertson gains the zone. I can't believe he's still playing after that huge hit he took. Shot! Holmberg, good one-timer there. 9-13 to go in the third period. Leaf still down three goals. we go to TV timeout. Brian Freeman, Leafs fan since Ovi's Cup. This year is, or this is not fun yearly. Wait, were you a Capitals fan? And you decided to jump ship after the Cup? God, I hope not. That would be tough. Trying my best to get to Sorry, what's that, Drew? Oh, Drew's going to have a surprise on screen for me in a sec. When you say in a sec, what do you mean? Five sec? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to love it? Yeah? You're not lying, are you? You might be lying. It's going to cover my face? Oh, I think I know what you're going to do. Just do it. Just do it. I think I know what you're going to do. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, frig off! Get out of here! Shut up! According to the deserve a win to win o meter, Drew sent me this for the LFR so I can lose, lose my friggin' mind. According to the deserve to win o meter, the Bruins would only be winning 18.2% of the time. Leafs would be winning 81.9% of the time. Shut up! Shut up. No, no, no. Shut up. That's not. I thought you were just going to put like Marshan's face over mine. Or like the mighty might roar. Shut up. Oh my God. Yeah. A team whose entire top line gets a penalty wins. 82% of the time? For sure. For sure. 9-13 to go in the third period. Leafs with an ozone draw. Marner out there with Matthews and Tavares. Tavares taking the draw. Why not at this point? Tavares wins it back to Matthews, who gets it to Riley. Almost flubs it. Gets it back. Oh, nice move from McAvoy to help the Bruins break out. And Marshan just chips it to Coyle. 
who goes behind the net. Coyle's been so good for the Bruins since that trade. Bruins fans all over Samsonov. Riley tries to go for a hit on Marshand, doesn't get it. Matthews gets a decent little bump there on Marshand. This is not a uh, ideal shift for, you know, you're loaded up offensively and it's basically just been a run around chase the puck fest. Marner drops it back as the three horses go off for a line change. Be killer if the three horses actually produced offense. That'd be sick. 8-14 to go in the third period. Leafs still down 4-1. It's a big hill to climb. Ooh, fourth line once again going to work. Reeves in there. Market manager Mike. Matthew stops scoring when he doesn't get paid. Uh, I think he can still uh, score. I would like him to. Pasternak just bullying Jake McCabe there. You need your stars to play with that. Doer, good play. Time. It's really, really, really eroding off that clock. Leaves dump it in, but this will be ice if they can't get to it, and they can't. It's icing with 7.35 to go in the third period. Nova Khan, Drew without fail, knows how to kill any shred of happiness in the room. I wrote that on his birthday card. He laughed. He liked it. Uh, 7.35 to go in the third period. No! No! Wake up! Wake up! Make up! The Leafs are about to score a goal here. And they're only going to be down two. It's happening this shift. Here it is. All right? All right. Yeah, what percent of viewers understood the system of a down reference? Not the children. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Pontus Solenberg. He should score. I want him to. Oh my God, someone just tried to kill him. They didn't. Leafs are about to score. It's going to be so cool. They're about to score. Robertson. Oh, they're nowhere near the puck, but they're about to score. It's so cool. Bruins. Don't ice the puck, apparently. Thank you, Muck. Lilligren, up the ice. Here comes Maximum Domi. Come on. Score. Domi still with it. Riley, on. Oh! Swayman covers it up. 6.33 to go in the third period. Leafs still down 4-1. Brandon Rickner says it's 420. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, and I'm in deep thought. Uh, but do you think the Leafs roster was actually just the Bruins? If the Leafs roster was actually just the Bruins and wore the Bruins jersey with the Bruins logo, that they wouldn't be so soft? Uh, I really do think the Bruins organization is an incredible one. And uh, the Leafs one just feels too political. It just feels like they're always trying to do something uh, that isn't hockey. Matthews. Scrums the draw. 627 to go in the third. Bruins happy to just chip it ahead for Jake DeBrusque, who's on hat trick watch, by the way. Here comes Marshan. Whoop, fans on it. Labushkin gives it to Bertuzzi, who tries to chip it to himself. Matthews holds the line. Matthews to Bert. Bert spins for Domi. Can't find him. Jared said, can you put the deserved winnow meter back up? Absolutely not! Bertuzzi goes to a ghost. <sighs> 545 to go here in the third period. It's all right. You're on the SCPN YouTube channel right here with Steve Dangle, and you're going to witness something special. Special! You should click like and subscribe to celebrate that fact. Benoit manages to not give the puck away, which is about the best thing I can say about that play. But uh, Jake McCabe, not as lucky. Bruins have it. 
McCabe gets it back, gives it right back. Tavares can't get it. That would have been a two-on-one. A high stick, and we get a whistle. 5-11 to go in the third period. Uh, Muck, in hopes to make you feel better as a Habs fan, Leafs got destroyed 5-1 first game of round one against Tampa last year. Keep the faith. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was way worse than 5-1. Yeah, it was 7-2, Drew. Leafs won 5 nothing in game one against Tampa in 2022 and then lost that series. If I'm not mistaken, the Leafs outscored the Lightning that series. <laughs> and they lost. That's got to be rare. That's got to be a rare feat. Oh, didn't they also outscore the Habs? I think they did. Because the Habs won a bunch of overtime games and one goal games. The Leafs killed them 5-1 in game two? It's ridiculous. Uh, Paul Douglas, will Drew be doing the Avs games, please? Uh, the answer is no, because we like Drew alive and not dead. Because there is only so many hours in a day. If we could clone Drew, we would absolutely uh, do that. But technology's not there. Corey, Corey, come on, Leafs. Our Oilers can't decimate you if you lose in the first round as usual. You know what? That's a good point. Uh, flipping bricks is chug milk for good luck. First of all, I don't know if Simone Benoit is scoring. Second of all, as someone with severe allergies today, chugging milk sounds awful. The only thing that would be more awful is watching the Leafs try to kill a penalty. Oh, my God. All right. Back from commercial break. If you don't score here, you're basically dead. God, Bruins fans always look like they're having the best time. Daniel says we both sighed at the same time <laughs> after he passed to a ghost. Great. Fourth line is out on the ice. That's cool. That's nice. Well, they're the only one who scored. Shots are 9-2 for the Leafs in the third period. <laughs> Frig off. Uh... David Kampf giving chase. He's the only guy who scored. Reeves puts it on. Dewar tried to chip it in. Didn't work. Under five minutes to go. You don't score here, you're dead. Uh, the physicist, I'm a Wings fan. Uh, yet because of you and your content uh, over these years, I've, it's allowed the Leafs to ruin your life too? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. You've had a miserable last few years. Clue says, I'm a Canucks fan married to a Bruins fan. Ooh. I'd very much appreciate if the Leafs would win, please. That'd be cool. Uh, the refs are talking right now. Is there about to be a penalty here? Oh, Bruins delay a game? Yeah, that, that puck uh, didn't touch glass. That's a penalty. Leafs with a lifeline here lifeline here i think you probably pull the goalie you, you have to score uh what in the ward i'm listening while cleaning my cat's litter box between you and me which of us do you think is having more fun uh me i have a dog and a toddler and a newborn i clean enough of that jc van dam looking forward to the lfr i bet you are Uh, Ian Quinn using up my chat for a Leafs goal or four. Here it comes because of Ian. Marner to Riley. Under five minutes to go here. Ah, uh, Bruins clear it. Dude, you got to pull Sammy. Monsieur Booyah. So weird that Nesson has an ad with Raycroft and Rast together in Bruins jerseys. They're just doing that to rub it in. It's the worst. <laughs> producer drew goes patrick wall would have pulled the goalie three minutes ago 415 to go in the third under 90 seconds to go in this power play i don't understand like you gained the zone pull the goalie dude it's a playoff game 
Casey, let me manifest it for you. Reeves gets the next one. I hope not. He's not on the power play. Riley with it. Why are you going so slow? Am I taking crazy pills? Try to win the game, guys. Marner to Tavares. Tavares drops it for Riley. Leafs have a little bit of space here, and it's gone. Why aren't you trying to win the game? Pull the goalie! Have I lost my mind? Tavares, in front, can't find anybody. Be cool if there was a sixth guy. No idea why there isn't. Leaf shoot, stopped. No one there to get the rebound. No one there to hold the line. Sheldon! Use your head! Who cares you're down three? There was enough time left in the game for you to tie it. And now there probably isn't. There's under three minutes to go. You need three goals. You're dead. Thanks for that. They gave up. They gave up. Now the net's empty. You suck at your job. You suck. When did they pull Sammy? When did they pull him? With 20 seconds left on the power, you suck. You suck. You're down three with like four minutes to go. What is the matter with you? You had the power play. Get, watch some friggin' hockey. You guys have a whole department to do nothing? Bruins score in the empty net. They hit the camera. Good, looks good on you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Five one Bruins with two oh eight to go in the third period. The Bruins played a good hockey game. Good, they played a good hockey game. They didn't play a great hockey game. They weren't unbelievable. They weren't like, oh yeah, we're gonna just powerhouse our way to the Stanley Cup. They played a good hockey game. They played fine. Leafs took stupid penalty after stupid penalty after stupid penalty. They have an amount of time left in the game where, in theory, you pull the goalie six on four, you score a goal. You might just luck into at least one more, make it interesting. They didn't even bother until 20 seconds left. You suck. You suck. That's so, sh that's so garbage. Fourth line is out there because what's the point? You stink. You stink. You deserve to get run out of this building. You suck. They're doing ole ole. You just love getting embarrassed, eh? I really want the Leafs to win. I would. It would be one of the happiest days of my life if they did. Good Lord, what a hateable hockey team. I don't know if they're hateable. They're definitely not lovable. You love this? You love this? Is this good hockey? Is this how you win? That's too many men. You suck. Last minute of play in this mercy killing. Like, what? what, what is this? Lilligren, wide. Boston fans losing their mind. They deserve to be. Brad said, this Leafs team is the same. Hate to be a Debbie Downer. Leafs have no hope. Cool. Frank M., why did Keith pull the goalie? The question is, why didn't he pull the goalie when they have more time? When, when the first power play unit is out there. When the million bajillionaires are out there. Not having Nylander and McMahon is what made you lose by four goals. You know what I mean? Horrible. Horrible opening game of the playoffs for the Leafs. Domi takes a shot. Stopped. Bruins clear it. Don't. Don't make this icing. Don't make this icing. Why? All right. We got another face off. You know all you're doing, by the way? Watch what's about to happen. 
if the Leafs care. All you're about to do by having that icing is inciting a scrum that's about to happen. That's what a good team would do. That's what the Bruins would do. That's what the Panthers would do. That's what the Lightning would do. Ryan Reeves is out there. Nothing's about to happen. Dewar and Camp, nothing is about to happen. Shot blocked by Lauko, which was dumb. The game's game's over. No one did anything off that whistle. Didn't try to take advantage of the power play. Each member of the top line took a penalty. Two of them in the offensive zone. The other one was at least on the offensive side of center uh, side of center ice. Would have been nice to get a save at a Sammy. Didn't help him at all. They didn't help him at all. Would have been nice to score some goals. You got one. It's from David Kampf. What do you like about this game? What do you like about this shitty piece of garbage hockey game? I know it's game one, but that's what I'm doing. I'm reacting to game one. Game one sucked ass, dude. If game two is great, I'll be over the moon. Sunshine and rainbows. Game one sucked ass. And now they get to do their little dance and they stun on them. This is just a humiliation ritual. Why do you like this? You must, right? You must. You must. There's no way you're this bad. There's no way. It's just you really love this. You enjoy this. Leafs are a joke. Listen, people always say, oh, Toronto's so hard to play in. They're so hard to play in. They blew a 3-1 series lead to the Montreal Canadiens in empty buildings. Empty. And then yesterday, or was it today? It doesn't matter. I see an article from Luke Fox of Sportsnet where he's talking about how TD Garden is so hard for the Leafs to play in. You know what's hard for you to play in? An NHL arena during the Stanley Cup playoffs. You chokers. You bottle merchants. You snake oil salesmen. Can you sign contracts that are exclusively based on playoff bonus? This sucks. I know the Leafs got their asses kicked in the first game of the first round last year against Tampa, and they ended up winning. I don't think game two will look anything like this, genuinely. But that sucked ass. There was nothing redeeming about that piece of garbage. The Bruins were fine. They were fine. The Leafs handed them that game trash drew ferdinand steve you're a hero i don't know about that i love you ill-advised i'm a lifelong sens fan okay now this is strange and i hate watch your hockey team oh now i get it it gives me joy they are hateable and it pays off consistently yep yep what a chore uh puck followers says what chaos that wasn't chaos Market manager says goalie hug. I I wish it was chaos. The stream jumped from 7,000 people to 9,000 people since the game ended. Leaf still S-A-W-F-T. Soft. Keith just got his ass handed to him coaching-wise. As opposed to what? As opposed to what? As opposed to what? Like, this happens every playoff. Every playoff. Dude, they blew a 3-1 series lead to Dominic Ducharme. Do you understand? A list of coaches to beat Sheldon Keefe. John Tortorella, the Leafs had home ice advantage. Dominic Ducharme, and the Leafs had home ice advantage and a 3-1 series lead. John Cooper. John Cooper again. Or no, sorry. Keefe beat John Cooper in 2023. But everyone was like, oh, the Lightning actually outplayed the Leafs. And now, like, Jim Montgomery will kill you. Kill you. The best year-in, year-out coach in the league is probably John Cooper. Jim Montgomery won the Jack Adams last year because the Bruins won 65 games. He deserved it more this year. They had fewer horses to work with and almost won the division. 
And I'm convinced they didn't win the division so they could play this lackadaisical, clueless bunch of scrubs. James David Atkinson. So I know this isn't uh, at the forefront of people's minds, but the Bruins uh, were looking to shop Allmark. And it would have cost a lot, but uh, would have been better than Sammy or Wool. Zero percent chance the Bruins would have traded Allmark to the Leafs for any price. Joe, if the Bruins win game two and three, uh, it's like this. We would see, would we see empty seats for game four? As a Bruins fan, it would make me happy to see. I hope so. I honestly hope so. Leafs are down three nothing in the series. I hope there are empty seats. It's not gonna happen. But at least it would send a message and maybe something would happen. Would it help? Who the hell knows? Oh, thanks, Drew. Thanks, Drew. This is the expected goals. Holy sh... What happened at the beginning of the second? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, Swayman, I mean, he was good. He was good. The Bruins didn't play, like, a magical game. They really didn't. That is the number one positive I'm going to take from this, is the Bruins didn't look spectacular. But the least looked like hot garbage. Hot garbage. Like just stupid mistake after stupid mistake after stupid mistake. In a game where otherwise they didn't play that poorly. Brutal. Brutal. 23 plaster. Just about every time the Leafs pass the puck, it bounces off a leaf stick and they have to scramble to keep it. Passing too hard or no? I, you know what? I did get that impression tonight. Nerves? I don't know. I'm I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. The Bruins don't look nervous. nervous. If the Bruins... Oh, wait. I already read that one. As a Panthers fan... Whoop. Oh, my, oh, my goodness. Where did that one go? Oh, my God. They're coming in too fast for me to read. Would Truba be a good ad for Toronto? Just wondering. Yes. He's not available, dude. It's the captain of the Rangers. <laughs> He's He might win a cup as a captain. Carter Little, I said earlier, I would rather play the Bruins uh, if I'm the Lightning. I'm rethinking that now. No, 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 no. Don't rethink it. They weren't that great. The Leafs sucked. They were crap. Miles, loving you tilt. Uh, Leafs need to win three games so we can watch another year of this. Can't wait. Avery, former Thrashers fan here, been listening to the podcast since 2014. Wow. And y'all morphed me into a full-blown Leaf fan. Two different types of pain. Good Lord, I'm so genuinely sorry. Uh, Mr. Jellymite, I don't get how a group of players aren't tired of being losers over and over again and embarrassing a whole city. Um, I think they would rather go to another team than actually uh, try. It's going to happen. It'll happen. Steve, which is better, Tim Hortons or Duncan? Uh, I don't know if I've ever had Duncan. So I'm going to say Tim's. That's what Drew said, too. Uh, This is the same score as game one from 2018. Well, that doesn't make me feel good. That went seven, and they lost. Ronnie, here's the one. As a Panthers fan, this is hilarious, but when it comes to contract negotiations, they seem to really care, and then the playoffs come, and they seem to not give a crap. Yep. I mean, how do you root for any of these guys to come back? How do you want any of them on your hockey team? Just what an unlovable group of disappointments. I don't know what else you call it. Uh, Townie, at least you get Allmark Monday. Yo, imagine the Bruins spank the Leafs and alternate their goalies. That would be friggin' pathetic. Uh, Hawks. Oh, sweet. Forgot about this and just uses their comment. Thank you. Thank you for being an SDP VIP. What chaos is this? Your official YouTube channel says pathetic. The seat should be empty or filled with only children dressed up like the olden days, wearing suits and smoking cigarettes. Uh, 
producer. Uh, man, get out of my. Can I show you what Drew just sent me? He sent it to me. I know I asked for it for the LFR. I don't care. It makes me sad. Ryan Alt, Leaf fans, sick of this effing garbage. Me too. Joe Libro asked, a lot of people are asking this. What would be more embarrassing, a 4-0 sweep or 2013 game seven? Uh, no, I'd rather them lose in seven. I would. I really would. Because why not? I know how to handle that. You've seen me handle that. I know the video would be good. You know how to get to Cardi Hall, don't you? Practice. Daniel Sorensen, I have the song I Hate Myself for Loving You stuck in my head. Watching from Wisconsin. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry. James David Atkinson, assuming Keith is gone, who do we get? Ugh. Jay Woodcroft's an interesting name. Interesting name. I mean, the more interesting question is who replaces Brendan Shanahan because he's gone. He's been the president for 11 years. They've won one round. They suck. Cassie, do you think they're getting in their own heads? If they are, I hope they're all gone. This We have this conversation every year. Every year. Go. Go. Go somewhere where you won't get in your head. Put your head up your ass. Like, do whatever you got to do. But stop being here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Um, they seem to have these issues every year and seem to panic and fall apart. Yeah, champions don't do that, so. Uh, Caden paid for Wi-Fi on my flight for the stream. Boy, I hope you're a Bruins fan. This stream was brought to you by Sports Interaction. Sports Interaction is your home for all playoffs in-game betting, sitting on best-in-class platform, making it incredibly easy to place a bet, including same-game parlays, custom props, and odd boosts, uh, focusing on the games that matter to you. Plus a 24-7 casino with live dealers, including thousands of games to choose from. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash dangle uh, and, or scan the QR code to open an account. That's sportsinteraction.com slash dangle. Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Pet local, 19 plus only. Please play responsibly. These guys. Every year. Uh, Marcus, do we... <laughs> Do you wish we still had Sam Lafferty? Why or why not? You know what? Uh, if the Leafs kept Sam Lafferty, we would have never found Bobby McMahon. It's true. Think about it. Uh, Poke Madros, uh, my bracket is Leafs in the finals. Need them to win this. Ooh, 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 ooh for my own. Uh, Tyler, Matthew signing that big contract. Big mistake. If they blow it in the first round and he doesn't do anything people are absolutely going to say that you know that right like i know a bunch of you rolled your eyes he's the best goal scorer in hockey ah he's the best regular season goal scorer in hockey how many how many goals you got how many goals you got let me look let me look austin matthews 22 career goals. Okay. 22 career playoff goals, 22 career playoff assists, 44 career playoff points in 51 games. And that was before this one. So he's, I know he didn't get a point in this one. So he's got 44 points in 52 Stanley Cup playoff games. He's miles over a point a game in the regular season. 649 points in 562 games. You think people aren't going to be talking about Matthews this summer? If they blow it again, of course they are. Of course they are. Jean Belanger, wool in game two or game three? Maybe game three. I don't think it solves anything for game two. Maybe. Sin City Center uh, can't keep having this in their own, own head conversation every year. They made it past the first round already. Time to grow the hell up. I agree. I mean, they looked like they were in their own head against Florida. What if they're just not very good? Like, what if this? they just can't do this? What other giveaway are you supposed to have? Joe Papel, uh, STP VIP. Another year of Shanny or Chuck Fletcher? Oh, good Lord. I'll take Shanny again over Chuck Fletcher. Holy crap. At least the Leafs make the playoffs, and I'm able to feel this pain. If they had Chuck Fletcher, I don't think I'd be able to hear anything. 
or feel anything. Uh, Producer Drew, what do you want to do? Want to wrap it up so that I can start screaming into another camera? Let's do, oh my God, it's already 11 o'clock. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot the LFR video then. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like the stream on SDPN brought to you by Sports Interaction. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends, become an SDP VIP, become an SDP VIP ad free and tune in on Monday, game two. Can the Leafs tie this series up? Not if they played like they did in game one. That was hot garbage. And I'm about to scream about how much hot garbage it was in the LFR. Am I still...